Good evening, welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, good evening, everybody. <laughs> welcome to uh, Stun Sturdy, our uh, D&D podcast for the Asylum Channel. Um, this <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at everybody else. I'm doing weird things. Strange, strange. Um, I hope you're all well. Good evening, welcome, welcome. Uh, so today we are going to be continuing with the adventurer. Unfortunately, we are two people down. Um, Kane, uh, who plays Loki, and Trinity, who plays the other one. No, it's Kane plays Drake now, doesn't he? he Change that. Uh, Drake and um, Artex. Uh, so they're both away. So we're going to be kind of covering them for the moment, but um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Real life does get in the way at times. Um, other than that, uh, I think there's not much else to say this week. Nothing said it's a royal wedding special. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It is. It's, a, it's well, a royal wedding special. <laughs> so I was going to look at doing some sound effects because um, when we first started doing this, uh, Windows 10 updates decided to mess all that up. So we're going to just roll with it anyway. Um, so yeah, starting time was meant to be half past eight, but we seem to be keep managing nine o'clock. But that's okay; it's all good. Anyway, so without further ado, let us continue. I just <laughs> wanted to mention, seeing that uh, Artex isn't here, the druid uh-huh. could have a wedding if she wanted to. The druid could have a wedding. <laughs> 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 well, so Trinity just comes in and goes, oh, oh, by the way, you're now married. <laughs> you're married. <laughs> well, that's what happened last week. Right. Um, so, yeah, as, as always, uh, the caveat is that most of us are new to Dungeons and & Dragons, and we are all learning, including myself. So don't expect a nice, smooth um, process. Because it's not going to just stop now. <laughs> process because it's not going to happen. Um but other than that, it's fine. You can correct us. Feel free to jump in on our Discord and tell us how we're doing things wrong or right. We may or may not listen, because that's what we're like. Um, and as always, thank you to Mr. Asnog himself, who has gratefully allowed us to use his campaign on D&D Beyond so that we have access to all of the awesome information. And he pretty much pulled out the whole of D&D Beyond stuff, so we have tons of resources that we are still learning as well, so that's taking us a little while. He's a drug dealer, as well. He's basically getting us hooked on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, it's gonna take you into now buy it all yourself. Now, so there is a uh, Mordecai, Mordecai, is it Mordecai's Tomb of Foes? There's a new one that's just come out, but I think he's got access to that as well, which is cool. Lowering our expectations mm. of it. Exactly. That's that's what I do. At the start, you just knock it down, knock it down. Just just so you know that you're on the right kind of level before you start watching it. So. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. Welcome, everybody, in chat. Um, we won't engage too much because, obviously, we'll be playing this. But if we can, we will. Um, but otherwise, let us begin. So, uh, this ragtag bunch of adventurers have been employed by Gundren Roxica to escort some mining supplies down to Found Darlin. Um, on the way there, they came across some dead horses and ambushed to find out that these belonged to Gundren and Sildar, the, his like escort. Um, after interrogating a goblin, uh, they found out that the both um, Gundren and Sildar were taking off to the Cragmore Caves, which was the tribe of the goblins. Um, after f- releasing the goblin, they decided to follow him up the pathway to the entrance of the Cragmore Cave. Um, once there, they took a couple of baths in the river. Um, unintentionally, it hurt a few of them, <laughs> which was quite good fun. Uh, and then eventually climbed, climbed up to the, um, I think it was the west side of the um, cave, uh, where they met um, Yis- Yismik, was it? I can't remember. It's been a while now. Uh, it was something like that. It's, I need to write it. It was Yismik or something like that. Um, anyway, this is about him who was holding. Um, was that? Sorry. Uh, Yimik. Yimik. Okay. Yimik. There was no S in it. There was no S in it. 
Although I think we, I said it about 20 times when we were doing it because everyone's going, what, what is, how is it, yeah. how is he saying it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so Yimik, who uh, was holding C Sildor um, prisoner and um, basically he wanted to do a bargain with you because you killed the, completely cleared the room of goblins out in front of him and said that if you would help him kill Clark um, and make him kind of leader of this small band of the Cragmore goblins, uh, then he would... Uh, set uh, Sildar free because at the time he had him holding over a cliff edge um, waiting to push him off so after a little bit of negotiation you agreed to do so and crossed over and then cleared it, managed to clear the rest of the cave out and find Clark and his pet warg after killing the warg and then um, finishing off uh, Clark you well, you managed to finish him off, and I think it was Brun that then beheaded him to take his head back as evidence uh, of, of the deed. Uh, you found treasure in the room, which I told you about, and also you were surrounded by the um, crates of other mining supplies and things like that, which had the blue lion emblem on them as well. Uh, and then this is where we basically left off last time, where I think we're just Brun standing there, sort of dragging this dripping head of a bugbear, and you guys deciding what you were going to be doing next. So, again. So, last week, you did take some damage. Um, your hit points, where are you? Thank you. No, that's not you. It wasn't down to 13, was you? Well, you um, well, I was going to say, Brune, um, now is clearly not the time to lose one's head. No, I have it on a string. <laughs> but I do feel if anybody needs healing, uh, I still have that little healing spell hanging around. Uh, um, I, I'm going to go up and um, to the head that he's holding and... Um, it's a shame you weren't a bit more headstrong, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't we find some healing potions as well? Uh, you Stop found two, my head. Two. I believe it was two healing potions I told you, wasn't it, last week? Did you make notes? Yes. You will never be potions. the head of a corporation. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make that end now. That's, okay, not, so, that's yes, not the way to you, get ahead in life. You've had your loot. I think um, Baron's had a few too many drinks. The <laughs> intoxication, the, the the rush of energy of killing, killing Clark has gone to his head. <laughs> He's sort of got his little gambling flask out, took a few swigs. It's gone gone yeah. straight to his, uh, also to his head. But that will I mean, just I've trigger him a, again. Had a few drinks. <laughs> and I, I still, I can still heal as well. So I don't know what. Yes, I was. If everybody's feeling healthy. You should have. That blue lizard fellow, was he not a bit injured? He can always have a little rest. He did uh, He did take some damage, but I don't, like I said, I don't think he updated his D&D Beyond, so. Mm. He took about, oh, yeah. about five or six points of damage. He only hit him once, I think. Did he update his? So he's, he's on about 15 health points the of game. In the game is ah. I've done this marker on the game, you know the little. The Did little you do album. it on there? I don't know what its color was. Does it save it? Yeah. Uh, he is, he is he light blue. Hands. He's got nine. T is he light blue? I thought he was green. Mm, uh, yeah. Okay. I think that was probably him. Then it's uh, no, the Artex was blue, which he's got seventeen life, mm. um, and uh, I think yeah, they haven't changed it. See, this is why I told you mm. to use these things. But anyway, uh, so I think he took at least about six. I'm going to say he took about six points of damage. So he was on about, uh, I think he has 19 on the second. Um, mm. He's got 20. So yeah, he took about six. So he's got about 14, 14 point, hit points at the moment. I've been using mine, but it was completely not the way you intended because I got the amount of hit points I have, the damage I've taken, and what I've got left. And I know the second one's supposed to be AC. 
It's not for me to. It's it's so you oh. know what's going on. Okay, Actually. I know what's going on. No worry. Okay. Okay. We'll try and use D&D. Everybody healthy. In the future. Um, do, I, I mean, we got we can go back. We can go back and um, talk to the uh, talk to the uh, what's his name, Carl, Clark, 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 whatever his name. No, is. he just Clark. killed Clark. No, not Clark. Sorry, my that, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Name is so hard to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I um we, if, if it's your offering. Do you have a heal, Dave? Uh, Brin, brain, Brin. Do you want to take a short yeah. rest? Does anyone want to I take will... a, have a break here? Need a short rest? It sounds so wrong, but I, I, I'll lay hands on Bryn. Well, if Maybe I'll either way, one of the two. Most of us are healthy. I, I'm but reasonably I... healthy. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm very good. <laughs> I might use my bonus action to turn back into human form, though. Okay. But I so, remember um, Bryn, Bryn took some took some damage. Which one was? I'd like to. I think it's a bonus. Either from a either from a short rest or or from a, from a spell. Nah, or let's let's, like to... let's get let's get on with it. I will heal you. Okay. If my heal sucks, we take a short rest. And I've got a heal as well. Okay, so um, you see yeah. Josephina kind of like form up, and uh, the paw starts turning back into hands as she sort of reforms and comes back into a, a standard wood elf form um, before your eyes. Uh, so, are you healing? Does she wear clothes as well? Like fully formed clothes, yes. or not? She's naked. Does she need yeah. clothes? No. She, she's, not when I, she's not a werewolf. <laughs> when I change into the wolf, all my clothes Become merge the with the wolf form, wolf and when form. I turn okay. back. My clothes become apparent again. Become apparent again. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So get a sneaky look as she changes. <laughs> no, there oh. are no sneaky looks. Okay, so have you healed? I am three. rolling the heal now. Okay. It is six plus three. Nice. So it's a nine heal. Thank you very much. That's a good, good look. It's a D8 plus three. You're looking, looking well, Bryn. Looking much well. And now I'm out of spells. Color is returning over, to those. Like dragging this head in one hand and just reach over and touch his uh, Bryn. This like light just comes from his hand and he, as you just see um, Bryn kind of shake off some of the wounds that he had before um, taking his healing damage. So what, have you, what do you guys want to do now? Um, I think well, we should venture over well. to Yimmick. I'm with Brune. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's get this done. We, let's, get, let's get our friend back. The while we walk over, yeah, I'd just like to uh, whisper in Fallon's ear. Well, not whisper. I've got to scream up there. Just tell him, remember that, that little goblin creature key we left alive by the stairs? Just just remember him. We might have to deal with him. And uh, to the Druids, I say, we should try and heal our fallen, com- well, our prisoner comrade as soon as possible. Well, I, I'm saving my heal for a moment because I can use it with my unicorn. Yeah, yeah well, okay. we need to keep him safe. I know. I think okay. we're just keeping. Let's just keep him huddled behind us, also. That is. Uh, yes. Uh, so Br- sh- Baron did give him a heal last time. So he's he's had a small heal okay. compared to yeah, the last okay. time we met him. We got we uh, got him a heal. He's not. To that, so. We did. Yeah. He's yeah. not. He's not as badly damaged as as he once was. You stabilized him, okay. didn't you, Miss? So he's still not brilliant, but he's stabilized. And I'm happy. Um, I've got my bow in my one hand, the head in the other, and it's <laughs> so. Yeah, originally, I originally I was saying, guys, that um I could change into this. Obviously, but I can't do it now. It's um it's too big. Um, do we want to uh, do we want to double cross this fellow? I don't trust him. Uh, do we want to take an opportunity? Maybe is there? A, do you think we could? Uh, 
dupe him in some way to, or shall we just do a straight honest deal with this guy and see what happens but be I'm, ahead, maybe something well i can i am planning to well we're just discussing as we're walking yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, just saying. I'm planning to still try and get us reward by telling him that here's the head you can still you can still do you can still display it as a trophy uh, we might have to kill the only um, ah, bad little guy in the corner that saw that we killed him and not you. Fallon might have to hit him over the head with a, with a club. And then after his yeah, axe, well, your hand will do, I'm sure. But yeah, uh, then he can still boast to his clan that, well, he can make up a story whatever he wants to. So we can get our reward. When we got it, we kill him. I agree. Basically. I'm not sure I trust him. So I think um, we need to have a plan B if he does double cross us. So is our plan B just to attack him or are we going to try and... I've been practicing the whole week to kill him. Okay. Is it worth having somebody um, turn to stealth in and just maybe be behind him so that we're ready for ready mm. for him if he if he double crosses us? Okay. Mm. I have this good plan, but okay. Here's the plan. I've got the head. I've got a bow. I'm going to throw the head at him while he looks at the head. I'm going to shoot him with a bow. That's yeah. I just, I'm just, I'm, I, I genuinely, like, do you think, I mean, I just, I don't trust this. I just don't trust him as far as I can spit. And I think we can, I just think as long as we're prepared and ready, ready to go, we won't be caught, caught unawares. So, no. My only concern is they might be back up in the cave in his little department but if it's just him and his foot minion then i'm dead certain we can talk him into that we have to kill the foot minion uh the foot soldier for him to have the glory of having the trophy and then there's one left and maybe he has something to offer us maybe he doesn't at the end of the time he's still done okay okay um I could um, I could cast barrel five foot barrel around myself and uh, walk and kind of slowly shuffle in like Metal Gear. Uh, there's a game in my country which is called Metal Gear Solid where a guy has like a box and he can kind of kind of peer out of the box. Um, it's a good game. It's a very it's a fun game. And children used to play. Um, I could potentially attempt to just say you would struggle to go push in yourself and... into a five foot barrel. Plus a five foot barrel would be extremely unusual rolling around a cave even a five foot barrel on its own would be quite unusual i mean you can try you can try see I, mean, I, I could do i could do like i could do what? the illusion i could do the the can they could do the minor illusion and then the i would have to obviously grab my tail and kind of put it kind of tuck it in like kind of underneath I the, think... the thing i mean I, you might be able to see where he is, possibly. I mean, without him seeing us, uh, unless stealth. Maybe Brune is a great. I stealth. just think you got to fry him. He see knows we're he coming is. back. He knows how many there there is of us, just and he is him. kind, of friendly. Okay, okay. I I will I will go with your lead on this one, my friend. Let's oh, okay. I, I'm, let's go with your lead on this one. Let's see what we got. Okay, so are you all heading towards Yumik? Yeah. Yep. Um, what order? Can you tell me what your marching order is, please? One. Um, I'll walk in front with the head. Brins and no, Brins and Stealth do. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. So Brin, you want to go up front? Yeah. Yes, I'll go in front with the head. Please. Brin's yeah, up front. Give, give, give me uh, Brin, some time to get ahead. So let Brin go ahead. So behind Brin, we'll say Broom with the head. Sure. Uh, anyone? Anyone with Broom? Okay. With, uh, I will, Thalin back. I'll go. I will be between Thalin and and I'll be at the back section with um, Drake and um, Draken and, and 
So you can go what just in front of Thalin? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll just hang so out. Baron. And I'll be somewhere in the middle. Drake and Artex. And then we'll have um Joseph. Me and Winnie. Those are Peter and Winnie. Right, stuck in and the middle with you. In the middle. Uh slash Winnie. Okay. So you're just gonna head straight back. So we've got Bryn on the front. I really want to get out of this cave as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, so you go uh, forward and approach the um, cave uh, where Yumik is. Uh, are you doing it any particular way? Or are you just going in? Did you say Bryn was going to stealth? Correct. Oh, wow. He's really putting this up there. Well, you just said you wanted to go there. Yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah, we do. Yep. We're going back. I mean, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there won't. I mean, I'm obviously alert, but I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, we, there's not going to be anything behind us. I would like to think. Okay. Um, like. can you roll for stealth, then, please, Bryn? Okay. Hello. Are you well, just approaching? I'm just sat here, just perched on my cane, watching, waiting to see if Brune finds anything. Brune find, Brun finds anything. Eleven total. Eleven total. Okay. Um... So as you um, what do you what's your plan then? So you tell me, you might or you just I want to know if you're walking in, are you storming in, are you trying to sneak in first behind the others? What exactly is um, you doing? I'm just going to let Bryn go first, see if he sees anything. If he sees anything dodgy, then he'll wait for him to respond. So wait for Bryn basically to give me the old or or whatever, okay. whatever signal he does. He's so you guys are holding back and I just, um, yeah. I see the party being much more cautious than I am, so I slow down a little bit and give Brenny space. Okay. Yeah, after seeing his escapades over the last couple of, you know, fights, I've kind of grown to appreciate that he's clearly quite skilled in the arts of stealth. So as um, Bryn, you creep up to the entrance of the cave and step, are you stepping in? Oh, sure. Okay. So as you step in, you hear this uh, voice ring out. Ah, so the misfits have returned. Have you come with your towels between your legs, have you? Have you found to kill Clark like the rest of them? Come here to negotiate a different deal, perhaps? You can stop your sneaking. I can see you very well from up here. Stand up. Stand us to just step out a little bit further into the light. Okay. What little light there is. What have you got to say for yourself? It's come to make the train. Okay. With the range that you asked for. You're trying to tell me that you actually killed him? We brought his head. If you're ah. still willing to make the trade and save your life. Save my life? It's not my life that's in danger. It's your little human friend here. But you're welcome. I am still willing to trade. I've got nothing to lose, but you need to prove to me that you have killed Clark. You see him kind of getting a little bit more agitated because you've kind of tried okay. to sneak up on him. Um, he's seen you start sneaking through, so he's kind of getting a little bit agitated again. He kind of wanders back a little bit towards um, Sildar and just puts his hand on his shoulder. Uh, you notice at the top of the steps that there's still another um, the goblin still there kind of pacing back and forward. He's got he's now kind of drawn both of his weapons again looking like, you know, just not quite sure what you're up to. Okay. I'm walk well, Bryn walks in with a head, swinging in his right hand. Okay. They're just going to come up Past Bryn, or 
Uh, I'm going to walk past Bryn. I'm trying. Uh, how high is that uh, floor <coughs> ten, that he stands at? Ten feet, yeah. Three, me three meters. Do you want to attempt to toss it up? <laughs> uh, that's a problem. I won't be able to clear three meters. Um, Are the rest of you moving in, or are you staying there? Yeah, let's move in. Okay. Hey, Gemini, I was just about to say, this is it. The rest of us. It took the rest of us to kill him. But <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you were just about to say that, the rest of them kind of start piling in behind. You're all trying to be rather tricksy. You. I'd have told you we have these caves and eyes everywhere. Don't try to trick me. I wish to see evidence that you've killed Clark or your little Yumi friend here will drop to his death. Sure. Sure. I will give you the head now. I, I kind of hold, hold on to the head a little bit and give you the <laughs> eyes and show you the other hobbit, uh, the other little goblin. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling uh, Simic. Uh, Simic. You better throw it, did you say? Here's the head. We've proven, here's all the proof you need. But for you to be able to use this to your advantage to really have it as a trophy, should you not get rid of the eyewitnesses you have, hinting towards his goblin friend? And Don't you worry I'll, about how I keep house here. I, if, you, if Clark is truly dead, then I am now the leader of the Clagmore Cave. Mm. You said that you had some, some extra loot or extra goods for us. Does this... Uh, uh, we, we can exchange that for the head? For a trophy for you? I know it's not as good as bringing you the live bugbear, but I try to hack the head as unprofessionally as possible to at least match your chipped and, yeah, uh, rusted sword. So you, you, can, you can tell the other clan leaders around here that you were the, the, the doer of a deed. Very well, very well. Bring the head up to me then. You can, let's meet halfway. Or I can get my friend here to toss it up to you. Fine, throw it up. Throw it up. I want to make sure that it's Clark. I'll give a head to your Ah, to. to uh, 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 Fallon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at your Zoom. It's nice to Zoom. <laughs> Ten foot high. You should be able to do that. Easy enough. Oh, uh, can I um, slowly make my way to the stairs whilst these guys are all talking? Uh, sure. Thank you. Are you trying to hide about it, or are you just? openly no, walking into the room i'm just oh okay. just very like very confidently very casually whilst everyone's talking i'm just going to walk up you know head up towards the stairs and just make my way slowly up the stairs okay am i obstructed am i am i obstructed to this guy to slimic slimic uh someone's saying that thalin is muted to the stream you got your microphone set up in Discord and in the he's, stream to the same. His mom knows that he's yeah. Thank you, Ward. Um, is it working now? Right, so you're gonna. So you're approaching the steps while. Um, I'd like to head in a bit closer as well. What's our distance from? We're going to head in from him at the to moment. where? Where do you want to go? Uh, what, what is this distance, say, from to here? Well, it's 10 foot high, yeah, and about 5, 10, 15, 20, about 20 feet across. 20 feet across okay, and it's, um, yeah, just wait, a quick, quick question. 
Mm. Yeah. Quick question. Um, how long since we started the fight um, and since we've been able to make it back, how long roughly has that whole escapade, the fight, and roughly been, would you say? Um, I would say it's probably taken you a good two hours because okay. you were That's very cool. slow at going over the bridge and clearing out that room. So I'd say roughly about two hours. Okay. And it's just because then my armor of Agathus is gone. So I want okay. to have my armor of Agathus. That's fine. So, um, Stalin, you've just thrown, you've thrown the head up, did you say? Okay. Uh, do you want to make a strength check? Just a... Stalin, Stalin, before you throw that, let's get our guy back to that. Uh, he's already done it now. So as he... Yeah. Roll on this head, you just see the head, this bugbear's head sort of spin in the air, kind of little blood still dripping out of it, kind of flings across the cavern wall a little bit, and it just like sp lands in front of um, Yimik as you see him kind of. Um, he goes to bend down and look at the, the head, and as he does so, he notices Baron kind of and everybody creeping further and further into. Perhaps you should just stay away. You have to, um, wait a second. No, I don't know what's happened. Now they can. No. I have no idea what just happened, but everything turned off. No, it was um, OBS to voice meter. Fucking... 
No, we, I didn't. Hold on a sec. There you go. Everybody's back now. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Um, hopefully, let us know. Make sure that uh, chat should, fingers crossed, be working now. Discord, everything is always, you see, with Twitch being flaky, Discord being flaky, voice mm -hmm. meter being flaky. It's always something. It's good fun technology. Um, it's not. This is the downside to playing in separate rooms <laughs> rather than around the table. So. So um, I don't know what you guys last heard. Can you just confirm to us that you can hear us so I can carry on? Uh, so back, 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 back. Yeah, let's just give us the thumbs up if you can hear us. Uh, Jen's back. taken the piss, so it sounds like she can hear me at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. We can hear us now. Awesome. Okay, so I don't know which, which bit you got up to. Um, they say the bit where I was walking up the stairs and you were the, the yeah, guy Yeah, we're just saying... going to go, I'm going to go from the fact, so um, Thalys, uh, Baron was walking across <clears> the <throat> chamber towards the steps. Um, Thalyn uh, grabbed the head from Brune and rolled a 17 and threw the head up through the cave onto in front of uh, Yimmick and you just see this head kind of like spin in the air, blood splurts a bit where it's dripping from where it had been just chopped off. Um, it kind of co coats the walls a little bit and lands to Yimmick's, by Yimmick's feet. Uh, Yimmick approaches the head, um, bends down to go and have a look, and as he goes down to have a look, he kind of notices Thalin 
walking across the room and everybody else start entering the entering room and sort of piling in, uh, feeling a little bit threatened. He kind of stands back up and all of a sudden you just hear this ding, 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 as this bell echoes out throughout the cave. Uh, a few moments later, you hear these footsteps come rushing up behind uh, the group and four goblins appear at the cave entrance um, to where they had just entered. And uh, Yimmick says, now stop where you are. Don't be trying any of this funny business. We had a deal and I don't like what you're all trying to do. Now stay down there. You don't need to come any closer until I check whether this is actually clogged. You brought in front of me. I had a deal and I want to stick with it. Just stay where you are. And he kind of um, looks at you for a bit, kind of. He can see he's feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit worried that you're all pressing in. Um, and if this is indeed Clark, you've just killed the leader that was there. So it's a little bit nervous. He bends down. Very good, very good. You did indeed kill Clark. Very good indeed. I suppose we can keep to our end of the bargain. You may take your dirty Yumi back with you. You may want to give him a bit of a wash. He stinks. Okay, thank you. Okay. I, I'm going to come up and kind of walk up and then um, take the <clears throat> forget the guy's name. Sorry, what was his name again? I wrote Silver. it down. Silver. Yeah, Silda, come with me, my friend. You're in good. Okay. You're safe now. So you go up and grab Silda. Does Silda look injured? Uh, Silda's still in quite a bad way from the, the first time you saw him. Um, like I said, you went over and you managed to uh, you make, let you. I think it was it a healing potion you gave him, or someone gave him a heal. I can't remember last time, um, but he was he was given some heal heals. Uh, so he's better than he was. He's not quite on death's door, uh, but he's still pretty bruised and injured. So yeah, yeah I, give you, my, I give him my cane to kind of rest, lean against them. As, kind of as you approach it, <coughs> thank you, friends. It's uh, <coughs> I can't believe this has happened to me twice in a week. And he kind of um, stumbles, cross like holds onto Baron, and um, with you gets led away. Yimmick just kind of backs off slightly and kind of watches as you take him away. Yeah, is there is that oh, is that a goblin in the way? Because I'm just going to tell him to get out of the way. <laughs> it's a dead one. You can't just get, get, get out of the way. Get back. Get your little filthy eyes out of here. He kind of backs off as he lets you past. Be giving us an applaud. Applause, <laughs> even. Applaud. <laughs> So they're just they're all just staring at as you kind of walk out. Uh what what do you want to do? Um did we I wanna... get any bo bonus did Brune, did you get your bonus? No, yes, that's what I want to ask Simic. We mm. were talking about some Yimic. My name's Yimic. For God's sake, you should slit your throats just because you can't say my damn name right. I thought there was a S in it, but okay. Gimmick. Didn't we? Didn't we say there's going to be a little bit of extra in, in it for us if we bring back a uh, clock? Mm. Not we sure I deal. remember that part of the bargain. I, we uh, we may have done. We may have done. I tell you what, since you have kept your part of the bargain, and I'm feeling in quite a good mood now that I lead these merry bend of. Ugly, useless goblins, but still, they're my goblins. All right now. I no, shall no, no, no. give you your reward. And he um, goes back to, you kind of notice there's another dead body on the floor, and he kind of goes back to it, and next to it is an old sack. Um, and from it, he pulls out two glass vials. And um, one is, a, well, you haven't got dark vision actually, so you can't see anything. <laughs> Has any of you even got a light? I forgot to even ask that. Um, I'm also four foot. I can't see over ten foot. Uh, so you can't really see anything. Um, I, I, ca I cast. I, can I see produce it. flame. I can see. Okay. I'll cast see. produce flame. Okay. <laughs> I should have remembered that one. So as you cast, you cast produce flame. And just Flickering pop... flame appears in my hand. Okay. So I'd say that was enough light to kind of light that sort of area. 
Um, so you notice that he's got um, two vials, one of them with a sort of dark green thick um, liquid in there. Uh, the other one is a, a sort of dark ruby red. Um, one of these will heal you and the other one will eat you from the inside out. Up to you which one you like to take. And they're yours. Now take them and leave me be. I've got work to do here. And he passes them to the other goblin that's standing on top of the steps who kind of scurries over, grabs them off of him, brings them down and passes them to um, Brew. Mm -hmm. Sorry, hang on. Did he say Do I have to one pick one, or can I pick both? No, he's given, but he's given you both. Okay. But we Two vials of green. We don't. No. We one's green, don't one's know. dark red. One, he said, but one's basically acid. Um, which said it eat you from the inside out. The other one will kill you. So the other one's a healing potion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Red's one. good. Green's poison. Oh, he hasn't labelled them. No, I'm going through years and years of me struggling through forests and doing this adventuring thing. Just yeah. you know, instinct. Oh, we could always, we could always, My little gut tells me that. We could always try it out on uh, an unsuspecting person at some point, to see which one's which. Just try out so mm. something's dying. Yeah, I'll take this. <laughs> I'll either finish them <laughs> off or make them feel better. <laughs> you have a 50 50 uh, chance, but you know. Could be a good oh, we don't we don't need to use it now, so we can we can keep that little coin toss for later. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shall we get out? I of feel I feel I think, let's just let's, leave them let's, and move. Let's go, shall we? Find yeah, out. I think let's let's head out. Okay. Rather briskly, I would say. Stand back, fellow goblins, let them pass, but just keep an eye on them. We don't trust these misfits and ragtag band of well, adventurers. Let them go, well. Uh, so you stay away from the road. Before I go, stay away from the road for a little while. Just for a little while. Who, who, who are you saying that to? The goblins? Yeah, the goblin leader. Just all of them. Okay. Just loud. loud. Okay, so they and pull then, back. And, and, can, and then can I cast, as I'm leaving, I'm going to cast my cantrap, which is the uh, minor illusion with a booming voice. And then I'm going to go, because I'll be watching you. Really loud. Looks around behind him as if like, this voice is coming from behind him. <laughs> okay. He's going to leave. It's going to be going on and on and on and on. It goes on for a while. What's the distance on that spell? Is until I until I I think until I you know, switch enough where I I can be a distance I, I, on there. Okay. Like Thirty. Hang on. Well, I need to say it'll be on for a little bit, but not for like crazy. Thirty foot. Okay. Yeah. So until I'm actually well, walking down until you get out of thirty foot range, yeah. it's just, yeah, yeah. just watching you, you, <laughs> sort of bellowing around the cave and just kind of. <laughs> kind of are unsure whether it's you or whether it is someone actually watching him. It's just. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, leave me, leave me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so uh, you leave the room. Uh, what are you doing now, then? We're going to head out, aren't we? Head out of the cave. Um, should we, I wanna... could, either, could either go down this, was it the escarpment, or we can try crossing the bridge, but the bridge was a bit dodgy. Ah, uh, let's just go down the way we come up. Just take the quickest way out. I'm sick of this. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, we'll just say giving ages is and say that you do leave the you leave the cave, no problem. Uh you can head back down to the pass towards the wagon or Yep. Yeah. Hopefully it's still there. Mm. Been in here for weeks. Mm. <laughs> it feels like weeks. Immature now. Uh, there we are. So just making sure I get all your characters out because I think it will pack it away with the map otherwise. Um, right. Awesome. Is that everybody's? I ho, I ho. It's out of this cave we go. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. 
Good, good stuff. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Well done. Team. This is what I like. Solid team. <clears throat> Not over the fat back. lady things. <laughs> that was good. We did well. So we've got that guy. Oh, I still don't write his name down. Uh, so Sildar. you've um, Sildar. Sildar. No, Sildar's Sildar. the man we've rescued. Yeah, that's what he's on about. Mm. I haven't written his name down. What's so. the goblin's yeah. name again? We don't get Gimmick. Gimmick. Can I've already forgotten Mike about Mike or something easy? Gimmick would be no. Why? I don't intend to see him again. If I do, he's dead. Goblin leader number one. Yeah. Okay, Gimmick. so... Uh, I'm going to head down to the... Wagon. Back to the wagon. Let's see if it's still there. <laughs> like literally, let's see if it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, hey. They look. That cars look fatter. They do look like they've been. They've been sitting there eating grass for a couple of weeks. Why? Why have you been delving out the cave? So as you leave the cave entrance, uh, you notice that you've been in there for quite some time. The um, sun is kind of uh, very low over the horizon. Uh, as the evening's come in, drawing down. Uh, you head back down the goblin pass that you came, uh, pushing for us to the brambles, avoiding the traps that were set up on the way up there. You, I'm sure one of you remembered that they were still there, uh, managing to dodge past them. Um, are you in the same order that you kind of approached the other room in? With Bryn first, or...? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Okay. So uh, you come down, you get to the wagon, um, and is there, as far is there as you a reason tell... they used a bunch of milk cows instead of oxen? <laughs> yeah, couldn't find any ox. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the reason there were no ox on there. So unless you want to start doing some three D modeling for me, I don't know. Um, that just seems utterly ridiculous to me. We were heading into a snow area. We camouflage man. Tough evening for jokes. Um, so Silver, um, how is it going? How how what how was is it? I'm able to communicate. Are we, how are you feeling, yeah. my friend, Silver? I've uh, I've had better days, I have to say. Uh, they. What happened, Silver? Uh, as you can see, any kind of looks back on the track where the the dead horses were. Ah, uh, you must have. Move them. Um, we were riding ahead f- first. Gondrin had a uh, had a had a mission, had a message that he needed to relay very quickly. So we were running less uh, caution than we would normally take. We've heard that there's been some trouble along these roads recently, but we thought <coughs> that we thought it was uh, it was safe. Uh, we came across this um, snag in the middle of the road. It was from the just wire from one side to the other. It took us clean off the horses. Yeah. Uh, when we were down, there were uh, a few goblins ambushed us um, from the top, shot down some arrows, and killed the horses straight away before we could uh, before we could get away. Clark came with uh, about ten. Other goblins were heavy-handed. Uh, they knocked Gundren out in one smack. Just, pff, uh, I, he, I don't even know if he was alive when they took him. They dragged his body away. Uh, I gave up a fight as much as I could, uh, but they eventually got the better of me and tied me down and dragged me up to the cave as well. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen time. him since we got we got taken into the cave. Oh, what was that for? Is it just like last time? Lead me out. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like uh, rather you didn't keep reminding me that this is the second time mm. my dick, that I have been captured. It is not something I make a habit of, and I do wonder if it is your luck that is being passed down to me. You. I had no problem until I met you. Uh, <laughs> I think it was those ales. Silly. <laughs> Who was the dead fellow next to you in the cave? I have no idea. He was there when I got there. 
I uh, tortured him first. Tried to. They kept asking about trade routes and maps. Um, and then uh, then... Can I roll? Can I see if he's lying? Can I roll up? I want to see if he's actually telling the truth. Uh, you can roll for uh, insight um, check. Insight check. Which, yeah, okay. Sorry, insight check. Uh, 14. Um, from what you can glean, uh, does, he has no reason to lie and you believe what he's saying, yes. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, okay, good to know. Um, can I ask, uh, um, well, I'm going to ask him. Um, Silver, um, were you, why did they keep you alive? Did they say why? There was um a map that uh, we were held. The uh, Gondrin may not have told you the full story of why why he was heading down to Vandalin. Um, Gondrin okay. is one of three Rockseeker brothers. There's uh, Gondrin, Tharden, and Nundro. Uh, they've recently located um, an entrance to a very long lost cave. It's been known as the Wave Echo Cave. Uh, it's the site of a mine in Fandelver. There's a, a Fandelver's Pact. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, I've heard of it, yeah. Okay, so it's um, he can roll, he can roll prescription to me if he wants to. <laughs> he need to. Oh, you've heard of it. It saves me explaining it to you. Well, this found Alvin's pack oh. is um, well, actually, for the benefit of my 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 company, it might be a good idea if you just explain to them what the pact is. Does this mean I finally get my contract? Uh, perhaps. Uh, what contract are you on? <laughs> so the um. Hmm. To love for it, I'm, I'm, I'm. My friends may be intrigued. The Vandelvers Pact was uh, five hundred years ago. There was a clan of dwarves and gnomes that made an agreement known as the Vandelvers Pact, by which they would share a rich mine in a wondrous cavern, and it was the one I just spoke of, the Wave Echo Cave. In addition to its mineral wealth that was below. Uh, they also found great magical power. A human spellcaster allied themselves with the dwarves and decided to come and investigate the cave. Um, sorry, my head has been a little bashed. I'm trying to recall exactly what happened during the effect, but uh, the dwarves and gnomes channeled and bound their energy together and created... Uh, the Forge of Spells. I found this forge that was uh, basically magical items could be crafted upon it. Uh, for a while, times were good and the nearby human town of Fandalin, which is where we were headed, um, prospered very well. But as Lenny think, when things are prospering, evil soon finds out. And a band of orcs came by raided the village, swept through, and laid waste to the whole area. There was not much left afterwards. Uh, it was a very powerful force of orcs. And even with our, our, uh, our magical power, not ours, the magical powers back then of the wizards, uh, they, uh, these orcs had turned, found out that they were allied with these evil mercenary wizards who decided that they were hunger for the power themselves. They then attacked alongside these orcs and uh, dwarfs and gnomes, they allied to best they can to defend this forge. Unfortunately, um, much of the caves were destroyed in the process to try and prevent them from taking over this forge. And the Wave Echo Cave and the location for it was all lost. And it's been for centuries, no one has managed to find out where this is. Only rumors of buried riches have attracted treasure seekers far and wide for some time. And this is why the Gundarin brothers were down there exploring. And they managed to find a map that had the secret location of this cave. And it's my belief that Gundarin had finally found it. And we carried this map with us. And uh, this is the map 
but unfortunately it was taken when we were taken by the uh, by the goblins. I had heard. <clears throat> Did we lose the map? The map was taken when we were taken. I have not seen it since. Did you find it within Clark's goods? Yes. I thought we did, didn't we? Someone picked up a map. We had a paper, didn't we? No. Did we not? Oh, I no. thought we had picked up a piece of paper. No, that? that was in the fair. Ah, uh, that was in the fair. Sorry. My bad. Well, then that's it. The map's been taken. They were asking me questions about the location of the mine. Uh, unfortunately, I knew nothing. Gondolin kept that very close to himself. I knew of it. I knew of their job and their task. I was there as an escort. But they didn't let me know where the location was. So is Gundarin dead? Or was he being, he was being tortured? As far as I can tell, they knocked him clean out. But I don't think he was dead. I didn't see blood enough for that. In my experience, I think he was just knocked out and taken. I thought they took him to the cave with me, but I do not know. I didn't see him. I wasn't at the caves, unless we missed something. The goblins kept mentioning a, um, some villains called uh, Black Spiders or something. Have you heard of those? No. But anything with the name Spiders generally makes me a bit nervous. <laughs> well... <coughs> Mm. Spits out a little bit more blood. That's mm -hmm. what I know. They just kept saying that these black spiders wanted the caves. They wanted the maps. They wanted it all. Okay. I think maybe we should move to town and stop sitting in the field talking. Yeah, I think this is. Let's get this guy. Let's get. We'll get him back. Get him healed up. Get you looking good, Silver. And then, um, yeah, we can talk some more about. Have some That's dinner. Idea. Some food. Yeah, it's a, a chance that, uh, yeah, that Gondolin managed to get back somehow. It's worth mm. checking Fandalin, in my opinion. And we have these supplies that, well, you won't get paid until you take them to, uh, yeah. to where they belong. So it's perhaps we'll go there first. If that's yes. okay with you. That's good with me. Just before we go, um, about, mm. your, um, about the pact, I had heard that um, there was a dragon involved that was in the cave. Is this true? Mm, up to my knowledge. What's your knowledge? Okay, I just don't have. It was a kind of a, a storytelling. It's kind of we had a we had a person that came past uh, my village <clears throat> as a young boy, and uh, he uh, was told this this, this story with the, and there was a dragon that lived in the uh, cave and stuff, and the dwarves had delved very deep into the cave. Had done uh, okay. No different maybe prospectors. Different. That's what miners do. They dig deep, deep, yeah. deep. And they found it I... dark. Okay. Fine. I also I also had heard that story, but it was mm. about a girl that had a tattoo of a dragon. Yeah, maybe maybe mm. the same. Maybe it was the yeah. same person came and told the same story. Yeah, let's let's get to town. Yeah, I, I'm ready. We can, I'm we ready tell, to we whip can share these the stories on the road. Yeah, on the road. Let's, let's tell these stories on the road. That's a good idea, Robin. Mm. And let's split this money between us. Let's split this money. I, I'm keen to have uh, my uh, my purse feeling full. And uh, well, get it to it town. Didn't. There might be bubbles to spend it on in town. Yes. Well, I'm thinking more. Maybe some card games. Maybe there's a gambling house there. Mm. I was thinking melons, but yeah. <laughs> we get to town. We can work out what we've got and divide it up. Okay, so um, Sounds good Sildar's time. looking a little worse for wear, so he kind of climbs up onto the back of the cart. Um, it bearing in mind that the sun is now um, coming down, it's starting to get dark um, as night presses on. Uh, you're going to travel through the night. Mm. I can, I can see in the how dark. far away is. Was... It was a couple hours. Do we know how far? Um, do we have an idea? I'd say that you were probably about an hour or so away from push on to a town. Front, or yeah, we can push on, and I'll walk out in front. I, I could do with a nice, comfy bed or something. 
I can see squat, so I'm just walking um, next to you. <laughs> these old joints. Yeah, I think we should we should push on. We don't want to hang around here after we've just left all those yeah. goblins. Well. And I'm still well. and I'm 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 still my I'm still feeling a bit damp, if I'm being honest. I've got dark mm. vision, so I can walk in front with that. It's not it's not dark yet, like the sun's just going down. It's yeah, still yeah. quite light in the air, it's just getting <clears throat> getting late. Yeah. Don't you have some fire spells and can't you just like slightly tinge your pants to get rid of it? Would it, nice. it would it would be nice, but yeah, it's I, no I I um unfortunately I don't know any fire smells, I'm afraid. <laughs> um the um what's happened is is that uh the uh when i cast the armor that i have which uses the the water and the moisture mm. and it turns into ice it's th- when i was already wet it's kind of frozen like really close to my body at the moment and um if i'm being honest it's still uh, yeah it, yeah I, would, I could do with a bath you got frozen <laughs> i could really do with a bath yeah i've got yes let's just okay. say Cut diamonds right now. Mm. Which is, uh, okay. On three ends. My tail is, yeah, very cold. You continue down the, the Triba Trail, um, heading now, veering off down south uh, towards Van Dalin. Um, as you approach, the, the rutted trucks emerge from the wooded hillsides. And at the you, you, it's about then when you just come over the brow of the hill, you kind of catch your first glimpse of Fandal and you see that um, it's quite the, the moon's up high, the air's reasonably warm, a little bit of a cool it's cooled off obviously slightly as, as the moon's gone up and the sun's gone down um, you notice that lights have started twinkling along in some of the buildings, torch lights and interiors of the houses um, you can tell roughly from where you are that there's about, it's a small it's a smallish town, it consists of about 40 to 50 um small buildings most of them made up of simple log structures um it's from what you can tell it looks like it's been built um around old ruins from from the story that um Sildar has just given you that the the town had obviously been wrecked and this looks like it's kind of been rebuilt so you can see around some of the buildings the ruins kind of outline um and a lot of the cabins have kind of been built within these Instead of uh, in these ruined walls, basically, um, you notice some shops and houses in the rows. Uh, most of the most of the buildings are there's like a, a a muddy sort of cart track that leads through into the village. Uh, this there's no you know that's probably about the best quality road you get. You can see where carts have kind of gone in and out quite a lot. Um, mm. The first buildings you come up across are. Uh, um, just have a look. What was it? The sorry on the um, yeah, east side of town. You notice the big manor house um, just on top of a hill. Uh, the streets kind of wind down onto that. Uh, the other streets wind around on itself. Uh, there's still a few kids kind of playing out. Um, although most of the hustle and bustle has kind of gone from the day uh, as, as most people have gone back to their houses. Um, as you as you approach the, the children and there's a couple, you notice there's a few people still milling about um, going from shops to houses and things and they kind of stop and look at you all a little bit oddly as you come rolling into town and then after giving you a bit of a hard stare, they kind of Put the head down and carry on about their business. Um, Miss, just as we're coming into town, it's, is it just you're describing? Is that the people that I'm seeing? Are they like any kind of? Are they all one type of race, or are we getting a mixture of races? Is this kind of, or is this like well, that kind of village where a six foot tall tiefling um, that's bright red is going to stand out from the crowd heavily? Kind of scenario. Um, I mean, mostly this is, it's humans. Uh, there are a few dwarfs, but I mean, there's not many that you see about at the moment. So you're not you're not quite sure where how well received you'll be because 
Uh, okay. Like I said, it's it's dark, and most people have gone back. I mean, the children yeah. that, that were playing and the ones there did kind of do, do sort of stop and look at you, yeah. but you can't tell whether that's because you're just strangers coming into town, or yeah. whether it's because you look strange coming into town. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hood. I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my hood up, and I'm gonna put my mm -hmm. mask of many faces on, um, and I'm gonna turn myself into a dashingly good-looking. Um, I don't think it spells that powerful. Mm. It's very, very just powerful. Just it's very powerful. <laughs> Dashingly good looking. Um, blonde hair, blue eyes, kind of Viking like kind of stature kind of figure. Um yeah. So as you as you like uh, people sort of anyone that's looking at you kind of see this mask as you put this mask onto your face, all of a sudden this the ones with in the light it's hard to see, but this like dark mist kind of covers your face. And then you just see it sort of cover over your body ever so slightly, almost shimmering through, and then disappears. And 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 through the through the dark sort of mist uh, appears your new form. What happens to his tail? What happens to his tail? Oh, his tail. What happens to his tail? I presume he hides it. Wraps it between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you can ask him. <laughs> well, after a few points. <laughs> so as you approach, Silda just kind of goes, my friends, I'm feeling a little better, but let us secure some lodgings. I'm told there is a very local inn that's very quaint. Could might be a good place to start. I'd like to say mm. to Winnie that um, I'm really grateful for everything she's done to help us in the caves, but it might be quite dangerous for Winnie in the village because people don't understand wolves like like I do. And she might be better off going to see if she can find some of her friends back in the uh, woods. Oh, well, I forgot to mention, actually, when you left the cave, um, the Echo Cave, uh, the three wolves that you actually set free at the entrance, uh, they were no longer there. Um, they had you you let them three and obviously they were still there eating when you left them by the time you come back out again they had disappeared so as you say this to Winnie she kind of turns around and heads off and goes towards finding um, finding these other wolves that she would she knows and recognizes and leaves you to it bye Winnie love you ah. <laughs> just hear this low rumbles <laughs> We could we could have made her a nice we could have made a nice coat out of her. I mean, you had her oh. all the time with you. Oh, how wicked! How could you think such things? Oh, I, I, saw, I saw how you loved her. You could have held her forever and ever. But anyway, I'd rather knit opportunities you a coat. lost. Opportunities lost. I'll knit you a coat. From leaves, I guess. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, what, what do you guys want to do? Let's head Let's towards find the, uh, off to the pubs. It's got a roof. Okay. It's good with me. Yeah. So, as you head in to the north end of town, um, you 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 go past on your um, you noticed uh, well, are you? Don't forget, you've got the what? Uh, you've got a cart, a cart full of bring the cart in full of all the mining goods and everything else. Mm. Um, you go past several buildings. One of them, uh, you notice on the front is the sign post of um, what's it Barthens, who's there somewhere? Barthens Provisions, Barthens Provisions, that's it, Barthens Provisions. Um, then on the right hand side of the road, you notice uh, a blacksmith's, um, and then behind, beyond that is the um Stonehill Inn, which is the tavern that uh Silda was mentioning. Are we coming in from the north? You're coming in from the north, yeah. Okay. I'll put yeah, I'll just put one of your characters on there so you can. I can see you roughly coming in from here with the wagon. Guys, with all the excitement, I can't remember anymore. Where are we supposed to drop this wagon? Sildar kind of overhears you and says, Barthens, 
was where Gondrin wished for you to uh, release. Hmm. Relinquish these goods, sorry. So let's Perhaps drop it off. Maybe an idea to do that first. It's up to you. Get you some coin. First. No. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll leave you um, to sort the wagon and the goods out, and I'll head towards the uh, Stonehill Inn. You can see it just at the end of the road. I'll go there. You sort out your wares and come meet me there. Thank you, Soldar, and you know that round one and round two is on you. I don't think he's got any coin left. We should better make what? some then. Well, round two is, well, don't worry, first round's on him. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, okay. I okay, like so um, yeah, I like this idea. This is a good idea. It's my tenta Viking accent. <laughs> ah, brother. Ah. Let us get a drink, my friend. You're looking a little red on the cheeks, though. <laughs> He's working on his feetling. <laughs> 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 More L! Where is the drink in this place? We need to coin first. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So Do not worry. Who's... I have. I have the so coin. Are you going into Barthens or are you going straight to the... I think we should drop the... Drop the going to Barthens. No. Gotta go past okay. it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So you notice this is um, Barthens Provisions. is a, a longer um, wood hut. <laughs> that um, has a, a small sign hanging out the front that just says Barthens Provisions. Um, it's not a fancy place. It's just um, yeah, from what you can glean, glean from outside, uh, you can just see a, a, a soft glow coming from within the windows. It looks like the place is still open. Um, looking in, you can't really see much. Um, do you want to just go in? Knock on the door? No. Knock on the door, you said it was evening. Okay, so you kind of knock on the door and you just hear from uh, uh, from from behind the door, come in, come in. We're still open, just about. Hello, my good man. How are you? Good evening. Good evening there, travellers. How will be the day? Hmm. We are good. We are the day be long. <laughs> so as as you enter, you noticed um, behind the bar is a lean and balding uh, human uh, mouse shopkeeper. Uh, he looks to be about fifty years old, something around about that. Um, from what you can tell, he's got a big grin on his face, like a nice, kindly manner. Um, you see that there's a couple of young clerks um, sitting uh, behind the desk, working on something. In the background, they're just looking through, flicking through some papers and writing some things down. Um, maybe one of them sort of tallying up a few coins. Uh, as you look around you, you notice things there on the shelves, like backpacks and a few ropes hanging from the from from, a, from, from, from some hooks. Um, as far as you can tell from the things that are around the room, it's like basic kind of provisions that you 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 might look for. Uh, so like bed rolls and um, ropes and Things like that, really. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. I think Ortex um, can remember who who hired us. Maybe he should just talk to a shopkeeper and ask him where do we deliver our. Uh, Ortex is feeling a little bit sleepy at the moment. Hmm. Okay, anybody else it, remember the guy's Gruntary? name? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Gundarin um, commissioned us. Ah, uh, Gundarin Roxriga, how is the fellow? Well, missing. What? At the moment, we've lost him. How is he missing? We were well, asked to escort his cart. Yes. Oh, There's you not... have the mining supplies. We have the mining oh, supplies. Oh, grand. That's beautiful. One day, I've been waiting around here for this for some time. I don't mind saying, but we've been having some trouble on the road. Yes, it seems so. It seems like we he may have fun. been kidnapped hmm. by some goblins. He, he what? Oh, dear, that saddens me to hear. 
How how old do you know? Is he is he alive still? Have you found him? Mm, no. Well, we haven't found him, but we found his friend. Sildar. Ah, Sildar, he's often there. We're still about him too. You don't find one without the other too often. Ah, that's a shame, that's a shame. So you see, you brought the mining supply still. You managed to get through with them. Yep, we've got those outside in the in the cart. Excellent. Ah. Where did you want us to put them? I tell you what, um and the thistle as you kind of leans back to the shouts back to the other two behind the counter. Get out there, get the wagon and put it around back and start getting some of those goods unloaded. I'll get I'll sort them out, don't you worry. You look like you've had quite the journey. Uh give me one moment and I'll get your payment. So he um walks back around behind the counter, you kind of hear a couple of drawers shuffling, a few coins um banging uh, like chingling together. I believe uh, Gondolin agreed ten gold pieces per person. Is that correct? That is correct. Very good, very good. And he um lays ten gold uh seventy gold pieces out on the counter in like tens. So you can all grab your um ten gold. Ten gold each. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Liz, when I'm looking around, do I see anything that might catch my eye of interest for a warlock in here? Anything would potentially... Um, uh, the, in, in this shop itself, it's more basic supplies. So you're looking at rations and things like that. There's nothing specific for, like, uh, okay. potentially... The same. There's no magic All items right. or anything like that. There's no weapons or armor or anything. Nothing of interest. Okay. Not that you can see. No, 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 immediately on, on, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, very well, I am, I'm speak. going, I'm going to uh, step outside, my friends, and um, have a smoke. Uh, as, as you sort of walking away, uh, oh, there was, um, the, the two brothers, uh, have you, have you heard of those? Of what, I, the last I heard, they were camping outside of town, uh, Nandro and Thardin. His uh, Gundren's brothers, they were camping out, and perhaps you can find them at some point and tell them that uh, Gundren's been taken. Maybe they'll uh, have some way of trying to rescue him. Where? Which way out of town? Town looks. Uh, they were supposed to be coming back into town any day now, so perhaps you'll see them around. Uh, they, they know of the Stone Inn. Perhaps they'll be going there, you never know. Okay. So th- Who's brother? So these Gundarin's brothers. Yes, the rock seekers. Yes. Well, all three of them. Gundarin's brothers, the rock seekers. Yeah, yeah. that they are. Part, part of the pact, uh, Josephine, that was, oh, we heard okay. about the other day earlier. Sildar told us about the pact. Yeah, yeah. So the, the brothers. Okay. So is there anything else I can be helping you with, folks? Or are you, uh, are you all happy for the evening? Um. There was some talk about a hidden mine. Ah, oh, um, yes, yes. The, uh, the Wave Echo Cave, we call it down here. It's very exciting news. Gondolin and his fellow, his brothers, found it. Uh, I was excited to see what they were going to find around here, but uh, with him missing, I don't know what they're going to be doing. What's it called? Wave Echo Cave? Wave Echo Cave. They found this cave, but they're the only people, my friend, to have the... Uh... The map, it seems. So we all know of the caves, but they are the only ones. I, the map. I believe that's why we were hidden down here. Hmm. Did he ever mention that's... where he thought it was? Not to any of us, last information like that he heard to come by. You don't going to be giving it to just old new Joe Blogs that comes around, are we now? I may be friends with him, but I'm not that close. <laughs> Do you think his brothers they, might know where it is? Perhaps, perhaps. I mean, they are brothers and they are looking to prosper from the mine, so it wouldn't surprise me. Mm-hmm. Before we leave, I would like to buy two days' worth of rations, please. Two days' worth of rations? No problem. I'm sure I can find that. Just Business course. around here hasn't exactly been booming, so I've got plenty of some stock. Would you, by chance, carry... Crossbows as well? Uh, I, 
I have some basic class parts, yes, yes. Anything more than that? You may want to go and see the uh, lion shield costers. Nine bolts, then. See who? Um, the lion shield coaster. They've got a big blue um, lion emblem. You can't miss it if you keep heading south down the road. Red basic arrows. I could probably do you a few of them as well, yes, no problem. I, I meant basic arrows, I'm so sorry. Basic bolts and arrows, yes, yes. So you want um, two days of rations, did you say? Correct. Uh, I'm still confused. I'm just, uh, if, if this was a secret cave that they found, why would they seems to be everybody into the sun is aware of this goddamn cave someone must be blagging or have told someone something somewhere about this cave if you are aware of this cave and the goblins were curious about the map we really need to find it, brothers someone has been talking the goblins knew of the map. Indeed, they did. They were pressing Sildar very... Unless Sildar maybe was blagging about the map to stay alive, perhaps. Sildar, are you there? Is he next to us, by the way? He's he's just... No, he's come to the... No, you went to... He went to think. Maybe oh, I very went to Curious indeed, lad. Curious indeed. I wonder why they know about it. It's... This is town Vandalin, of course. This is a local village to where the mine used to be, but it was lost a long time ago. But we know it's near here somewhere, but nobody knows where. And it's gone into kind of myth and legend. The fact that they found it and they think they know where the riches are. I'd be surprised. I mean, there's mining all over these hills. These here hills. It's not unusual. We do still mine here. It's a mining village after all. All right. Okay. Perhaps I will go have with no idea. We well, have been having uh, a little trouble here in town as well. That's that's one of the problems. I don't know if you be heard, but uh, and he kind of looks round and what, keeps what his voice trouble? a bit low. Red brands, red brands have been causing us nothing but trouble. What have been causing you lots of trouble? Sorry, I didn't quite red catch brand. that. Yeah, well, the other red but... brands. Red I don't like to speak too loud. I would. No, no, no. I mm, have caused us a problem with my business already. I don't wish to lock the boat. We killed the last that. ones. Or you did. Mm. And if you... What's up? They killed the last ones we came across. Except yes, the leader got did. away. Yes. Mm, okay. Uh, one got away, unfortunately. I look the more you paid. kill, the better, in my opinion. Where Nothing but trouble from? since they've got here and caused this whole town. Nothing but echo. Damn ruffians. Where do they come from, uh, Red Brand? We had similar problems from where I have come from. We know how to deal with these types of people. I'm not sure where they come from, but they have um, been shaking down all the local businesses recently. Uh, you can find them mostly hanging around the giant tap house. If you want to confront them, you'll probably find them there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now, let, let me just get to those arrows and uh, ration supplies, if you give me a moment. Uh, so um, uh, before, you, before you walk down, just double up the Bren's order. I'll take the same. Yeah, okay. and I'm sure I'll put our order in. Well, arrows well, yeah. and two F rations. I mean, pen and paper, and if it's going to be a big order, are you getting ready? Uh... Right, so we have uh, two days rations. Yes, no problem. Two days rations. Are you all after two days rations or just the two? Yes, two days for me. Okay, that's one, two. Anyone else? So two lots of two days rations, all right? No, fine, fine. That'll be about 20 silver for them. Uh, arrows for me. Arrows for you. Arrows for you. Mm, arrows for you, right? Very well, very well. How many would you like? Oh, what Nine. point do you think? Nine. Nine. Nine for you. How many for you? Nine for you. How many for you? Ten. Very well. Ten, ten. And you. 
How many have you used? <laughs> you don't know because you're not broken. You used. should be taking record of how many you've used. Okay. Man, that's just drunk. Very well, very well. Right. Well, we cost um, 50 silver for the 10 arrows each. That's uh, a gold for 20. Yeah. I know. Shush. Just forbidden tech. It's not my fault. I, it, I'm hearing other accents as well. It's just, one, it's a mess. Gold Don't listen. Don't listen arrows. too deeply. <laughs> he's, had, he's had a hard life, this uh, shopkeeper. <laughs> um, Thank you very much for the rations. So, gold for the arrows and, uh, well, gold, one gold 50 total for the arrows and 20 silver for the rations. Between us all. That's between you all, yeah. Oh, so that's okay. Uh, I, um, uh, what for the rations? Two days rations each. So twenty silver for twenty, 20 silver, silver for um, two days rations. Okay, so it's seventy silver each. Something like that. Seventy silver each for all of it. Can I just remind? Um, so I'll drop one gold and I'll add fifty. That he was gonna buy me a he was gonna buy me a herbalist kit. <laughs> he promised as we left the fair that he was gonna get me a herbalist kit. I think you'll need to get him drunk and seven so he can remember. A uh, herbalist kit is five gold. May I um I, uh, um, what did sorry? What was the name of the the shop shop guy's name again? I missed it. I'm begging your pardon. My oh. name is um, Elmar de Bartham. Elmar. Hi. Elmar. Um, um, it's been a very. Oh, hang on, my accent's gone. Two yeah, it's putting me off. It's like I'm rubbing off your accent. It's like ah oh, no. Right, 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 my friend. Um. I am uh, curious. Uh, it's been a very hard day. I'm incredibly tired. We did get, f we had fighting, and would it be possible um, if I could have a ration for free, my friend? A ration for free? Yes. Um, I have been shot by two arrows to the chest today. And uh, we got your mining goods here. You paid us nicely. The but... is, sir, the red I... Two sir. arrows to the chest. Two arrows to the chest. It's been very painful, and uh, I'm feeling better now. But uh, I'm just curious, my friend. The red I can... been... and, I'm, and I'm going to I'm going to get very close to him. I'm going to get very close to him and say, I have a friend. I have a brother from where I come from. We have a very special medicine that could help you with your building, my friend. I tell you what, I give you this special information, and you give me a ration. Uh, roll for persuasion. <laughs> Don't kiss this side. I try. Sounds like rubs, rubs his bald head. And then, how valuable is this information? Is it, uh... Uh, <laughs> eight. <laughs> uh, okay. Hang on. <laughs> as well. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, look at that nice logo. Ah, it's a beautiful that's logo. a very nice t-shirt there. One of X-Men's from Mike Merch will tell you where to get that. Um, Designed by Babel well. himself. Anyway. That's all. Uh, I tell you what. I, I, I'm, he went away falling on our times. I, I don't know where I'm going. now. his accent. Uh, falling on our times. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick with it. It's fine. Uh, falling on our times. I, I'll give you a day's, I tell you, I'll give you two days rations because I I'm not selling much round here with these Russians anyway. And if you deal with these Russians, perhaps I can give you a little extra. Uh, this is very, for freeing very up the business, and then you you give me this remedy. And if I've got hair when you get back, I'd be most grateful. Very well. I will tell of this place wherever I go and how great it's it is. Yeah. I'll <laughs> tell them where it is. What did you say it was? It's where it is. Where it is at is that I will I will tell people where it is at. It is at right. here. Okay. <laughs> He's just, hang on. Hey, he kind of looks at you a little bit like. Okay. Ah, uh, you tell people where it's at. Thank you. Uh, anything else I can get you? And he kind of rubs his hands together. Anything else? Or is that it? Anything? Sorry, sorry. Maybe he's getting a bit late. I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. I, I looked at the rations. 
And your dried fruits and that's uh, nothing special. Can I return these two and just give me my money back? Fuck it all. Poor bastard, you like me. Um, the problem, is, the problem is, I have 10 rations in my bag already, but I have. What am I going to do with 12? There was a. I've got a bit of buyer's remorse. <laughs> by his very well. Two hour boy back guarantee. I'll take him back. Thank, thank you, my good sir. Never be let it be said that uh, old Elmar, uh, uh, when, when Elmar here is uh, not a generous fellow. Oi, 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 oh, no, it's no problem. I'll thank you very you. much, Elmar. Oh, I've got ten rushes. Well, you're having your two, all right? I'm not giving you all back. <laughs> Jesus. No open for business. Not giving stuff away. Why get out of my shop? Or I'll see you damn welcome. Okay, I, I'm going I to the tavern. I've got my herbalist keys. Let, let us go. Let yes. us go. It, sounds, it sounds good. <coughs> good felon. Oh, let's let's go for a pint. Okay. So you head out of um, Barton's. Uh, <laughs> Barton's provisions, and you head um, south down the road as he instructed. Um, you come across, you start hearing some music uh, playing in the background, just a, a harp and a lute, just uh, plucking away, coming through quite a reasonably jolly sort of sound coming through the sound windows of the tavern. Uh, you, as you approach to the front of the building, you see um, something. I just can't remember what. <laughs> you see the, a, a, a wooden sign um, hanging up the front with two grey peaked um, what look to be like uh, mountains um, and this is, uh, the, this is the entrance to the stone here tavern, you can hear the merriment as you get closer to the door, are you going in? It is near very near this place let us go I fancy a beer, <laughs> come let's, let us drink I will buy I save money on the rations compared to you, please. Let us go. <laughs> I will hold you to that. <laughs> it's fine. I, ha I have, I have, uh, I have some spare money. I'm sure I can get some more alcohol for free. To be honest, look, Barrett, look at these look. Look at these good looks. I think you should keep a low profile with that red tail. He's not got his red tail. Oh, he's got his red tail. What the red tail? I, 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 I make sure to do a good tuck when I have this red tail and my mask on. <laughs> Keep it the right there, but delete in the legs. Uh, make sure nothing hangs out. We don't want to frighten the locals. Many, many a lady has been frightened by this tail, I can assure you. <laughs> Little nip and tuck. Um... <laughs> okay, so as as you um, open the door and enter enter the tavern, you know this is it's a reasonably modest tavern. Uh, there's it's quite busy in there. There's a few uh, tables scattered around. Uh, you see what looks to be some farmers in 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 the corner. Uh, a couple of uh, barmaids walking around with um, tankards of owls, sort of walking around um, delivering those to different tables. Um, you see a couple of dwarfs. Um, with sort of uh, pickaxes leaning against the table um, in another corner. Uh, there's quite a lot of chatter going on. Uh, behind the counter, you notice a, a short, young human male, um, kind of, they're serving people. Um, yeah, I think, uh, and in the corner, you see uh, a couple of the musicians, which is providing the, um, providing the music for an entertainment for the evening. A few people are sort of sitting around the fire, sort of tapping away. Uh, so it's 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 reasonably hustling. Uh, it's getting a little bit busier as um, as the night draws um, in. As well. Is the serving ladies with the tankards of ale of normal height? I just want to know uh, if I'm looking up at the ales or if I'm staring in the eye. There's there's one uh, that's um, human. Uh, uh, another yet yeah, another human uh, sized female with blonde hair down to her shoulders um, uh, carrying a tech she's 
sort of looks like she's serving one end of the room. Uh, the other end, you don't quite see her at first, but then you do notice this little gnome um, female serving down the other end, and she's kind of like... Um, the, the tables on that side look like they've been laid out a little bit more for dwarves and things, so they are actually a little bit lower down. So she's kind of going around serving the more dwarven customers and things like that. Um, she's got uh, a dark brown hair tied up in the bum. Um, you can see like a sort of fork jammed in the top of her hair, using it as like a clip to keep her, the hair tied up. She's wearing um, like a cream white uh, shirt and a uh, brown skirt with like a sort of floral pattern designed stop. along the, the trip. Stop teasing me. Okay. <laughs> I need something to eat. Yes. Let's grab a table. I think we need to sort the rooms if it's getting busy. I think I think we may floor. need to sort two tables on top of each other, judging <laughs> on this place's height. Everything is here is for small people. Take a normal table. No, the one one side is oh, one where, the, side. Okay. Oh, where the gnome was serving is like some dwarves and it's a little bit lower down. The other side was being served by a human uh, female. I, in I, in I, the same attire as well, she had the brown skirt on and the white shirt. Uh, so it's like, almost like a uniform for the place. Okay. And is this side quite quiet? Do we have space to sit down on this side? There's a few tables you can you can get to, yeah. Is there um, a table on the border? Between the two, close to the... <laughs> what, one's half and the two yeah, legs yeah, yeah. short and two legs on it are high. No, not, yeah. not the same table, but <laughs> closer to the dwarves. I mean, if we yeah. want to know what's happening in the mines, we want to uh, uh, eavesdrop yes, on yes, there's dwarf a, there's a conversation or... So uh, as, as you kind of enter the tavern, the, the way that's kind of split is the right-hand side looks like it's more for the shorter tables. The left-hand side is slightly higher. I mean, you could sit on either. It wouldn't matter. It, mm. It's just that the other ones are slightly lower, easier for the barmaid to kind of uh, reach on. The ones in, there's like a, a middle run towards the bar, like straight to the wall to the bar, so like a centre passageway in the middle, and then the tables are either side. So there's a couple free either side of that walkway. People have tended to go more around the edges and around where the bards are playing rather than sitting in the middle of the room. So, uh, yeah, you could easily grab a table there. I would nudge so. Fallon to take that table. Well, not nudge, so. like... Bump me in the <laughs> knee. Just... Bump you in the knee, yeah. He's like, Koo! crack him in the back of the knee. And he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> All right. Well, grab the table. Okay, can I? Is then uh, is anyone um is is anyone look like there maybe like is there like a card game going on or maybe like kind of any sort of kind of potential a little bit of gambling going on in this place or is it all just straight up drinking and chatting? And stuff? Um, most of the time, mostly at the moment, there's just um people listen to the the musicians because the night's only just kind of begun really, okay. so there's mostly just um people just getting okay. coming in, getting a few drinks, or some of them are sitting around the musician. As far as you can tell at the moment, no one's playing any. Any card the, games, weather, right? the, the weather spoons of D&D. Of D &D. I got <laughs> It's weather spoons. It's weather spoons. Weather spoons the no, There's <laughs> one dodgy drunken in the corner. It's been there all day. I understand. He's been there There's before, always one. Yeah. Yeah. It's been there all day. I get it. My cousin Frank Goff is like that. <laughs> we drink. He has, he's very old. He's been in many fights. He just drinks all day. I'm enjoying playing this accent. It's quite fun. I look forward to trying and getting a little Transylvanian at times. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we will work on it. I need to practice on the R's. R. It's my first ever voice. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Sitting down at the table, table, waiting for a bar lady to bring us some pints. <gasps> I would I would shout, but I have a small child next to me. I'm very loud Viking accent for what it be. <laughs> so let's just pretend I'm doing slamming my beer and then saying, Waiter, like drinks for my friend. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah. He's paying. I am paying. I am paying. So uh, one of the, the, the female um bar barmaid comes up to, as, as she still starts seeing you sitting down, she comes to approach the uh, the table that you're at and as you slam down and go, Oh, drinks all around. She's like, Ah, well, uh, good evening, good evening, welcome. Uh, how can I help you? 
What do you would would you like? I I would like some drinks for my friends. I am paying. Of and, course, uh, of course. This is what we serve here. Drinks. You may I? Uh, oh, uh, may I? Uh, um, do you do like a, if I put like a large bag of gold on your desk, for example? Maybe one. On my what, sir? Like, <laughs> let's have the um, let's have. Well, my dear, you are clearly a woman. You already just arrived. <laughs> Ample size, my darling. Um, may I? Put some gold on the table and have a const. Oh, fuck, this is gonna be hard. Okay, access is tough, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, um, I would like to put welcome to my well, sir. It's very, really, it's very hard. I am and nothing. Any other people to access to my sin, though? Yeah, pretty of being it's very easy, and I can be called the same as you, sir. If it's a dude you put back, maybe I'll make it easier for you. Thank you. I would like to put. I will put this gold behind the bar, on okay. the, or on the bar. Okay. And, well, you uh, want to stick it in the can say stick it where you like if you want, sir. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, maybe later. Huh? Mm. Um, and uh, I will. Uh, yes, we'll uh, we'll put it there, and uh, you just keep the drinks. You just keep the drinks, and whatever my friends want coming. And when that gold bag is empty, then they can pay for it themselves. How does that sound? Very well, very well. Mug of ale for everybody then, first round. Yes. Very good. Very good. And uh, what does one hail cost? Uh, well, around here, we charge about five copper. And my accent oh, oh, we're going to get mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. This is going to be fun. That's all I'm saying. Five copper. Five, five copper, dear. Five copper. And we'd also like to inquire about booking in some rooms for the night. Very well, very well. Um, we have rooms, we have uh, we have uh, six rooms, and then all of a sudden you hear from the, we only have five now. Oh, uh, five, five rooms available. Um, how many would you like? Um, how many of us are there? I'm sorry. I'm only the happy to share with the druid. <laughs> or, or Do you charge things. for sleeping under the table? I think his name's Stalin. Stalin. Because I trust him. I'm sleeping on the floor. Okay. <laughs> he is sleeping on the floor. I'm, I they serve uh... breakfast faster here. I'll share with Artex as he's a fellow druid. Okay, that's, that's one room. Any more? Any more? Is he is? Yes. How big is the room? I will yeah. take a room. Um, can I slip it? Can I just sleep at the foot and end of somebody's? That's if I can walk out here. I will. Sh- I'll, sure. I'll share a room with Thalin because he isn't going to use the room, so I will share a room. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, that is uh, two two rooms. <laughs> uh, she's like kind of like looking at you all how, a bit weird. How anyway, much I mean, are the rooms. Uh, we have uh, two very um, poor. Well, 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 okay. They are, looks at the barman. Uh, sorry, modest rooms, modest rooms. We have two modest rooms. That is a that's a quite to about five silver pieces each. Or we have a, a room that could keep you very comfortable, and it's about eight silver. So a comfortable room for eight silver. Indeed, indeed. For yes, for the whole room. Whatever. Well, uh, we don't charge for half a room, dear. That's no, definitely it's... eight silver pieces for the whole room. But the other room yes? is five silver pieces each, so that's ten silver, is it? No, for the... No, you're confusing me. It's it's five silver pieces for the for the modest room and eight silver pieces for the, for the comfortable room. I'll have the comfortable room. Okay. One, 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 one. Uh, should, should I get you drinks while you talk about how many rooms you would like, or is it, you know, it seems to be a little bit of a drinks. problem. Just bring the drinks. Yeah. Very well, very well. I'll be back in but a moment. And she, she kind of walks off and says, "What?" Well, and a bit of cheese. Starts talking to the to, to the barman. She didn't hear you say that. She'd already walked off. Um, so I'm going to, oh. I'm going to put my, uh, I'm going to the the. The pouch of gold on the desk, like real, but then yeah. I'm going to conjure, and as I'm doing it, I'm going to kind of like do my cantrip, <clears throat> my illusion to make the bag be an illusion that's on the desk, but I take the real one back with me. So it appears to them that there is a bag of gold that will be paid at the end of the Dude. day. Dude! <clears throat> so, okay, so, so you're taking my um, hand over away as well. 
<laughs> no, no, it's just so that it's do... with the, the rea- I don't want it to be stolen. I will pay for the. I will pay for the drink. Do slight of hand. But we are staying the night, and so. This is not paying for your drink. I'm not paying for your round. I'm just paying for the drink. So I'm, I'm just in case. I don't want to leave a bag of gold on a desk and people walk past and steal it. It's basically what I'm doing. So I'm, okay. I'm playing a game. I'm playing. It's like it, they think it's there. They feel comfortable, and I know that no one's going to nick it because it's fake. Basically, if anyone does, they'll be like, "Oh, it's not real." It's all good. Do not, you know, that kind of thing. It's fine. I'll be fine. Okay. Don't be worry, Joe. It, it'll be fine, darling. It'll be funny. Sleight of hand was a fantastic one. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the most amazing oh, sleight of hand you've ever seen. Okay. Nobody will, will, will notice. It's perfect. I don't want you getting us in trouble. We've only it, just arrived. It's, okay, in fact, so, um... in fact, it's not even a one. It is actually a zero because I have a minus <laughs> one for my sleight of hand. <laughs> so it is worse than it's what is worse than one. <laughs> I have literally dropped my bag of gold all over the table, and there is <laughs> coins flying. So, as, as you as you kind of like try to do this illusion, um, the, the one bag you make the illusion of the one bag on top of the other, um, and then as you go to grab the other bag away, you kind of grab it by the base instead of the top, and the coins just kind of roll out and start falling all over the table and just tingled onto the floor uh, as you your gold in. Tall pieces start making a mess. The your other one is still, still your, your illusion is still sitting there. <laughs> it's just that you've now got coins kind of bursting out the side of it, oh, and yeah. um, you're not quite sure whether anyone noticed, but it's it's making a little bit of a scene. Yeah. Drinks. So, uh, um, moments moments later, the um, <laughs> are you picking up the coins? Are you just going to leave them all over? Uh... I'm kind of just standing there, and uh, and then I'm just ca- casually going to be picking them up, <laughs> casual, as if no one is paying any real attention. To this okay. guy, I am so, so I am so wealthy, I can afford to lose this kind of money. It's fine. <laughs> Mom and don't call me the Baron for nothing. The barmaid comes back and uh, with like uh, two trays full of drinks, and she sort of swishes them down, puts them on the table, and starts handing out um, a mug of owl each. Um, so that's uh, give me a moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so as she does so, she hands out the owls and uh, she says to you, "Ah, oh, so you're the adventurers, are you? You don't look like you're from around here." We're from give that away. Talkative lot, I see. Talkative, maybe. I need a few more drinks. And, uh, I think that would be a good idea. That Baron, uh, have you met Darren in the, in the village yet? He, he was uh, one of those adventurer types as well. He kind of uh, stopped for the moment, but uh, yes. Darren. Uh, well, you yeah. know. Darren. Yes, Darren, uh, Darren Edemath. Have you not heard of him? Darren Edemath. Never heard of this person. Uh, he's an owner of the Edamath Orchards. You can find that down the uh, southern end of the village. Okay. So he was an adventurer? Oh, yes. Yes. He quite often proclaims that he has visited many places. Okay. Claims, you say? Uh, so he's, I mean, he's uh, more of the north. End of the... <laughs> I forget. It's been a long day. Um, we eat? Yes, yes. Well, I, I, he comes and tells tales now and again in the in in the tavern and tells us of his adventures, how he's gone far and why he killed many a goblin. Very Do interesting you... man. Perhaps you may know him. I, I just thought maybe you had known him. Do you think he'll be in tonight? Mm-hmm. Uh, perhaps, perhaps he comes in most nights. You never know. Excuse me, my dear. Would you mind just? Lifting your left foot, you are standing on one of my gold coins. <laughs> ah, wait for us. I'm so beg your pardon. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so I've sorry. Got, I've managed to collect a few, but there are a few rogue ones that have seemed to have spilled out, and I'm still searching for them. Do you often throw gold, gold coins around? <laughs> for pretty ladies, <laughs> lots of your pretty ladies such as yourself, I will throw gold coins at them every day. Ah, oh, you spoil me. And she sort of tweaks <laughs> and flirts a little bit, um, and then she um, reaches to the table. I'll just take this behind the bar and grabs the illusion bag of coins and the hand just sinks through. Just, what is this? 
Do not worry, my love. I knew. No, no, no. This is just in case somebody was to try and steal it. I have the real bag of gold right here, and then I show it to her. Tolman! Tolman! We may have some trouble over here. You have no trouble to be worried about, my, my dear. I was merely saying, if I didn't want anyone to potentially steal it from the desk, I put an illusion, a very minor illusion, just, just so that if there was anybody that did potentially try to steal this, one, you would know that this person was a thief in your tavern for future reference, and two, I am protected. I do not lose my gold. You don't lose your gold. Everybody is happy, and I pay you at the end. That was all I was merely trying to do. But I'd had uh, a few drinks and I was feeling a little fuzzy and I didn't do it as well as I should. Roll for persuasion. Come on, baby. Come <laughs> on, baby. I got positive on persuasion. Yes. 12. <laughs> I rolled a natural one. Yeah, very well, very well. So you're doing us a favor. That's very kind of you, eh? <laughs> We do appreciate it. We've been having some trouble around here recently with these uh, red band lots. Uh, yeah. Gee, I had heard of it. A little bit quiet heard, in the room. Causing heard. nothing but trouble. You can't be sure, you see. We want to make sure that people that say they're going to pay will pay for that they are having. It's only fair we are losing money with these horrible, horrible. Anyway, I, I digress. I must good. move on. I must move on. Perhaps you can Sorry. give me the gold now and I'll put it behind the box. I I tell you what. Sorry, you say you're losing money. I will give you the, the gold, what, sorry? my darling. Hmm? You're losing money. You're having yes. troubles. Yes. Could we help? Perhaps. Is, is there um, any way we might help? Can we uh, maybe get it for a? Hmm, well, let's first hear. Yes. Do tell. Well, Mutual beneficial arrangements. The thing is, the uh, the red brands have been allowed to terrorize the town. They've, uh, uh, but, uh, the town master has done nothing at all to curtail their behavior, and they've been in here and shake down all the local businesses. They claim protection money, but they don't protect us from themselves. Uh, we we People don't want to come out in the evening, and then when they do, they hide here, and they don't spend very much, because if they seem to have a lot of coin, the red brands will come, and they will take them. And so, so, we are stuck. We are stuck. Is there a red brands chapter in the town? Would you know? There's... Most of the time, they are they are held up at the uh, the other tavern in the town. Uh, you may have, I don't know if you've heard of it. It's the um, the Sleeping Giant Inn. If you, if you wish to, um, to Is show it them, Stone House. We put them. We, we're going to stop crawling. Sorry, right, you it. both spoke at the same time. Right, I found what it. What was that? Okay. Bro. He's the prisoner. He's the provisioner of the other tavern, the Sleeping Giant. Are they good folk? Or are they in with the Red Brands? Um... A good point. They, I think they are. Um, yeah, this is quite. Um, they have been pressured, pressured, uh, pressured into accepting them. I suppose it's the best way to say it. They have no choice. No. Mm. But you have to know someone named Halia Thompson. What's that, sorry? Would you happen to know of someone named Halia Thompson? Halia Thompson? Well, I do indeed. Um, I believe I she is at the uh, Santarium, which is, I think, um, I would have to go and check, but I think she is at the Miner's Depot. The miners, the part, miners. 
Hell yeah, let me give me one second. I think she's um she's a member of the Zentarium. I think it was at one moment. Check my notes because I have many. Not that one. Not that one. Stop shopping. It's here somewhere. I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> I don't know, but she she wanders a little bit. I'll get back to you on that one. Don't you worry. What could you describe her to? Hmm. Not right now. <coughs> Maybe you can have a rem have a think and let us know later. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to speak openly. Is um, How many the, the, uh, the miners' exchange. Vandala's miners' exchange is where you can find her. And where would that be? What direction? Uh, if you head south mm. from here, about south southwest, and uh, keep going, uh, you it's easy to to see. Um, it's next to a woodworker's hut. You should see it following the path south from here. Small stone okay. house on the building. <laughs> uh, sorry that I've missed it. Uh, what's the other tavern called? The Sleeping Giant. Sleeping. Oh, just here by the side of you. Okay. Yeah, it's just yes, it's just um a little way down the eastern road from here. Yes. It's um old maybe by... Western Road, but. Mm. Okay. Well, it depends which way you're going. It's east if you go towards the sleeping giant. It's west if you come towards ours. It's just the road that goes from west to east. I finished my I've first had, time. I've had too many ales or either me or you. But, uh, we will you do direction there, later. The, the Red Band Ruthians um, often hang, hang there, so you may find them there otherwise. Grista is the dwarf that owns the place. Perhaps she can give you more information if they're not there. How many red brands are there? I haven't counted. There uh, seems to be quite a big group. Caution. Not in my vocabulary. I must get back to work anyway. You, you enjoy your drinks. And uh, if anything else we can get you while we're here, just, just let me know. Some food. Food? Which food would you like? Some nachos with cheese. <laughs> what are nachos with cheese? I could do a hunk cheese? of cheese if you wish for a hunk of cheese. I'm not quite sure of this nachos you speak of, but I can do you a hunk of cheese, dear. What's Some meat. Special, <laughs> special of the day is um, log bottom soup, is what we call it. What? Log bottom soup. Meat? Oh, sorry. Meat. Um, meat. It's got meat in it, yes. Let's let's no. leave it at that, shall we? Just no. slaughter something and throw it on a fire and bring it to me. Very well, very well. Uh, that will come to uh, three silver pieces each. Each. Yes. What are you slaughtering? pricey. But a bit of log bottom soup. No, well, the log bottom meat. soup is, is six copper. If you want the modest. Um, Meal. The meats are a meal, a full meal with meat and potatoes and everything else. We'll charge you. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We'll charge, uh, we'll this, charge you, you have one, a three silver pieces. Do you have a set menu that I could look at, perhaps? Start a. Uh, it's bloody, this bloody, and. Do you have a good dessert? Perhaps? Money was deducted, meat was had. <laughs> I like this. I, For dessert, uh, we have um, but, uh, <laughs> have candied some... mushroom. Candy. Uh, oh, candy. Someone said mushroom, and it just came to my head. This <laughs> sounds. You have this sounds very. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will I, try we, one of we may these have candied mushrooms. mushrooms. Candied mushrooms, very well. Right. A bowl of those. Right. They'll not only cost you six copper. They're, they're very, they're very oh. good. Delectable. I'll play the silver for me. Wow. 
This sounds fun. Yeah, very well. I'll right, go and get your food. Good. Good. I'll leave you I'm to your drinks. Go and get your food. And I'll right. be back later. All right, my darling. Goodbye. Hey, what can she sort of almost, almost, almost walks, almost runs <laughs> away from the table of just like this bombardment of strange questions uh... from these strange people. <laughs> my friends, uh, when I come from, mushrooms are generally like narcotics. I am really curious to find this. what mushrooms. You might be like disappointed soggy. with the uh, soggy candy mushrooms. And the candy <laughs> mushrooms for six copper. I, soggy uh, fungus. I, I could I have think... given you some soggy fungus. I think I. Uh, I'm sure you could, your, my friend. I have seen your feet, and uh, yes, I am. There definitely some fungus going on there. Dear God. Don't no deny you're a fun guy. <laughs> I could. I could still do, even though this. I am obviously appearing to be dry and comfortable. I am still decidedly damp from the water <laughs> earlier. Shall we uh, uh, I, move to I, the fire uh, and talk to the dwarves? I think this is a very great, this is a good idea. I like this idea. I can also tell people that that place we were at was where it is at. Is that how I say it? Is that how, where it is at is at that shop? I, must <laughs> I don't do know. This. Just bring more ale. Okay. okay. Okay, so um, Baron and Thalin are going over to the fire. Anybody else joining them? Or Well, I want some dinner. Well, dinner will be there in a minute. You can't okay. cook it just like that. <laughs> I'll go and Typical, typical the woman, always in a rush. Can you take I feel like the men are just bothered about the booze and, you know... No, it is good for it takes time. Sort of okay, so um, the three of you go over to the dwarves. Uh, the rest of you. I'm going to say, oh, sorry, at this point as well, um, Artex and mm. uh, the other one, Drake, Drake, are going to blue one. Um, are going to go to their to their rooms. Um, they book a room together, and they they're going to head up to the room. Leave. Leave. Okay. Uh, it's been a long night. They go up. Night, night. And, and leave you got to it. Give us some information. Make sure you make notes. Thanks for the herbalism, Pete. You're welcome. Mm. As he's going up the stairs. Go look after okay. that blue skin. I rolled one. I went down. You rolled one. <laughs> uh, no, one shot, my, one shot, my friend. <laughs> Not shot. a double. I got a new cube. This is only a one shot. Okay, so um, the three of you uh, head over and approach the dwarves. Uh, as you do so, they they kind of stop stop mid drink, um, and look you over. Their eyes wander past um, Baron uh, towards Josephina, and they kind of look up and down a little bit more, and, and then they took towards Salin, and they're just mm. right. Uh, can we help uh, you? I'll sit on the floor next to them, so I'm at the same height. Something, uh, why don't you take a seat, orc? Uh, it's, they're a little bit too low. The, the floor would be fine. I'll sleep here tonight anyway. Might well make you see warm. them, their hands kind of veer to their Ooh. pickaxes. Just one hand wrapping around the pickaxe just slowly, um, and the other one they pick up a drink. And, a drink. See, I'm, I'm talking with your accent now. Pick up a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Is there anything we can do to help you, lad? Have you had any trouble with goblins? Uh, when do we not have trouble with goblins? Uh, we found a cave uh, about an hour from here and uh, killed a few of them. Killed their... Uh, I don't know what it was. We took his head. Uh, along the tribe trail, is it? I hear so. that um, the the Barthens provisions, the wagons be going missing, uh, up and down that route. Yeah, it'll be that then. There's still a few uh, left. I reckon but, it uh, when the goblins were there. Right. right. That's They're a nasty sort. Yeah. Mm. Uh, most you of them are gone. Still, We've have only been having problems with these red brands around here. No goblins, yes. but uh, we often have goblin troubles. The red brands you speak of, is there a particular uh, leader to this this band of... Aye. 
As far as we're aware, it's this guy called La- Glass Staff, I believe. Have you heard of him? No. I have not heard of this individual, but I will look forward to smashing this glass everywhere when I next see him. Well, it's very much appreciated if you could. For now, they've ah. been causing us nothing but trouble. Is there a reward for smashing the glass? Perhaps, perhaps. We are not the ones to be told to keep... What the fuck is going on with this accent? Is there a reward if there is a reward for this? Then I am interested. Mate. Perhaps there would be a reward, laddie. I mean, we're not the ones to be asking. But if you head down to the Miners Exchange, they're the ones that deal with going around here. They're as close as what we got to authority. Perhaps there they'll offer you some kind of reward. Looks Thank like you. a uh, good pickaxe you got there. Is there much work going? Need some rocks. Ah, smashing. the mines have not been bad to us. We are in a fine living. We keep us food on the plate. <clears throat> and now my accent's changing a bit more, and we'll try and get back to Scotland. <laughs> Because it's not from down south. <laughs> <coughs> Do you know the uh, the Rock Seeker Brothers? <clears throat> Aye, we do. Find the wolves, they be. We're actually uh, working for one of them at the moment. Oh, aye. Mm. What have they got you doing now? Walking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds are fun. And kill, we got to kill some goblins. We got Pardon? to kill some goblins. That was good fun. Why are you so good at goblin killing? We haven't had none of them around here for some time. So you reckon the um, the mining exchange could, uh, could lead us <clears throat> to some more fun? I reckon so. And Alan's mining exchange. Are you laddie? If you go there and uh, seek this uh, Halia. She'll have a job for you, no doubt. Okay. This is good information. My friend, uh, would you, uh, do, are you needing a drink? I have I have a tab behind the bar, and I can unbind the bar, and I can... Are we needing a drink? Do you hear that, Lanar? He's asking mm. dwarves if we be needing a drink. Of course we be needing a drink, lad. Okay. I will ask the lady behind the bar, and uh, she was very kind to me earlier, and we will get you... What are you drinking? Just a straight Marcia ale, a stout and sturdy? Or what do you have? I have not heard of the stout and sturdy. You have not heard of the stout and sturdy? It is a famous, famous brand. It is very successful around where I have come it from. It hasn't made it down south to Van Dalen. That's what I can say, but I'd be willing to try it if you find some. Bring me a keg or two. I'll certainly have some off here. I'm willing to try any new owl that I can find. Otherwise, Fantastic. you've got this uh, loggy bottom. It's a Lovely. bit like, I think they make it for the soup. That sounds like uh, a soup. Yeah, it's really so into your bottom drinks. You know, my foot is what they use to eat a special soup made with the owl, you see. <clears throat> Are you sure you're not drinking soup? Made with the owls. Not aisles, lady. Oh, dear God. Made with aisle. Oh, that's okay, though. <laughs> I haven't wanted to be made with aisles. <laughs> Next Just thing is, you've got to tell me the band is the Soviet boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're the two locks. Do you like them? <laughs> All right. I stand back up and say thank you and head off to our table. Um, I'm going to. Uh, uh, We've heard as um, um, as as, we... as um, Talim walks away, they kind of grab um, Josephina, like yeah. um, just oh. t- sort of touch with it. You want to watch that one, lassie? There's been orc raiders seen down the tribal trail. There's been a orc raiders. Orc raiders. Why? Just to the east end of the tribal trowel. Been causing problem down there. He didn't want to say in his company. We don't know if he's part of him or not. I don't know how long you've known him or where he's coming from. But, uh, yeah, we don't want to trust the orcs around here. I don't think you need know to worry about this orc. I've known him for a while. Mm. And 
If you say, lassie, it's of your okay. head be it, just keep one eye open when you sleep tonight, that's all I'm saying. I'll be keeping up both of my eyes firmly closed. Uh, but the sorry. door will be locked. So, eyes closed, door locked. Sounds... Eyes closed, door locked. Very well, very well. Just warning you, that's all. You take my eyes or don't, it's up to you. Thank you for your concern, but, you know. I know, you put a problem. No, you put Boys. Good evening to you. Right, where's this menu? I let the Brun and Brun know that uh, in the morning we should head down to the Miners Exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm, I'm. I had a beer or two. I'm happy to just to drink the night away until the money runs out. I think tonight we should just eat and drink. And we tomorrow... cannot drink your money out, it's not possible. Not at five coppers a pale and you threw gold on the table. <laughs> it's like 200 pints a coin. <laughs> You're going to get very, very married. we got to get busy, boy. I was so, wondering. Uh, so you return to the table. Yep. Well, I'm on returning, you'd notice that the barmaid has just finished putting out um, the meals that you ordered. Um, and she's kind of walked off. Anyone else want to do anything? Uh, I'm just going to... I just want to ask. Drinks are on the house. I'm going to say to everybody, like, in the thing is that I will pay, you know, drinks are on the house on on me. Then the, rest of the, the rest of the tavern will all just... Go in the front. Did, did he just say, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you... And, and the barman's all of a sudden going into a panic, like, hey, you, do, what, do, uh, uh, very well, very well. Bring some house to, to that man over there. For me. Um, I, will, uh, I will pick up the tab. I will pick up the tab for the. For one the one at a time. We'll, we'll, we'll bring the drinks oh. to you. Don't don't come rushing up. Bring, just just stay down. Stay down. We'll bring the drinks to you. You could have paid for your provisions. All of a sudden, goes in like panic mode as he starts pouring loads of drinks. That's fine. Um, you successfully managed to draw attention to yourselves. Put it that way. I was wondering. Um, the guy that rock singer, or the guy that rock seeker, Gundry. rock seeker, Gundry. seeker, Gundry. Then okay. his brothers are around. We were told that his brothers do drink at a certain pub. Would this be this pub or the one of ill repute just to the left of us? Who are you asking? Wait. Um, ah, the. The knowledgeable people of my party. Of okay, I have no Just idea. We have... <laughs> I know what. I have no idea. We yeah. have, we know that they know I that. I had a pint or two. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking it's of light, which. the lightweight half, <laughs> lightweight or half old. So um, the um, go on. Sorry, keep going. No, no. It's uh, we. Uh, my, my friend, we understand that uh, the brothers. The two dwarfs have informed us of um, two brothers. Uh, that, so I'm assuming the dwarves know these, and then maybe they must come here for a drink. So maybe like uh, let's get some of the locals, so we say, tipsy, and uh, we will ask them questions and find out what is going on. Let's just get them rockishly drunk. That's just a perfect <laughs> idea. Okay. I intend to follow. Uh, okay. So yeah. So gonna... as um, evening... we don't know. We can't remember. <laughs> we will find from the locals. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> one point, and it'll be, it's like you've had mind wipe booze. <laughs> I mean, we, none of us understand what we were told earlier. <laughs> um, so as, as with... the evening presses on, um, the barmaids, the two barmaids, um, are constantly busy. Um, Basically, using up your gold, um, giving five all gold. the patrons uh, five gold. Okay, five gold. We'll say, we'll say, we'll say five gold's worth for about an using hour. it all up and, and filling everybody's tankard. So every every time um, someone's tankard's empty, they they refill it. Um, so five gold is still a thousand. Uh, 
Thanks, we'll Foden, we'll thank say um, well, how many, I don't know. I don't know the math. I don't. Yeah, maybe two gold or whatever. I don't know two gold and more. I mean, say a good few years. hours have passed. Everyone's looking extremely merry. The band's now starting to sound a little bit off key uh, because they, they've obviously thought there's free drinks. They're going to join in as well, so they're drinking away, kind of playing and and yeah, the no, the noise levels have risen. Um, is uh, is is there anybody, Ms. Um, is there out of character? Is there anybody that I can potentially see that would be like a bit of a talker? Maybe you know, or somebody that looks um, like could be a, the chatterbox so, kind of character. You know, everybody, is, um, no, they're all getting drunk. I know, but if there's anyone that you could see is a little bit easier because I'm, my, my, it's pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to drink any more booze. I'm just going to keep doing the uh, magic with my drinking thing to appear like it's refilling. And then I'm drinking it and then refilling and drinking it. So they look like I'm drinking more than I really am. So okay, uh, so there's, you notice in one corner, uh, there's some people that look like they, they're sort of wearing, I'd say probably like a farmer's outfit, you know, like kind of what you would think as farmers. They seem to be they're enjoying themselves pretty drunk. Um, and you may well um, talk quite a lot. Um, there's potential there. Um, the uh, innkeeper's wife, um, like most innkeeper's wives, seem to be very free with the information she's getting, and uh, she's also joining in um, with the drinking. I mean, they, mm. they haven't had people chucking around this much cash for a while, so everyone's getting pretty merry. Um, and then, and uh, other than that, like the barmaid and things that you already spoke to, um. There's uh, another another person, another. F- uh, let me just, uh... I mean, we can, for expediation's sake, we can say that. I mean, if you want to speed, I can be happy to say I glean a certain amount of information from talking and listening to drunken people, you know, as I'm walking around, if you want to. You can tell me if there's any sneaky. There's about, yeah, there's about two, or, two or three people you can, you can go and talk to. Um, if, you, if you want to speed it, that's fine. That, you can do I was it, just thinking um, we could. So, yeah, we can speed it up if it's fine. There's um, so you come across one that's Narf, his name's Narf, an old farmer, and he tells you how um, a sister Garel um is someone that oversees the shrine of the shrine of luck in town. Recently left the town for a few days, um, and when she returned, she was wounded and exhausted. Um, they weren't weren't sure why. Uh, the innkeeper's wife, um. Talked on about um, the local woodcarver. Um, his name's um, Fel Dendra. Um, said that he stood up to to the Red Brands uh, about ten days ago uh, when they came to his shop, um, and then the ruffians murdered him. And quite a few townsfolk have seen that happen. Do you think the red brands have got anything to do with Gundarin's disappearance? I do not know yet, Josephine. This is a good idea. I like this thing. Could be true. That's an avenue we should consider exploring. Mm. Okay. Anyone else, Miss? Or is that the. the I mean, I'd, um, I could talk to somebody if you want to. But... I suppose otherwise what we need to do tomorrow is to explore the local area and have a chat to a few more people, don't we? Like we've got some yeah. some ideas <laughs> on where we're going now, you know, we can um We need to find these brothers. The find the brothers. brothers. Where they have gone. It would be a good idea to find where the brothers have gone. And can we ask one of these? Um, lady between them bringing hell if they've maybe seen the brothers lately the guy who gave us the uh the coin for delivering the, the yeah he the said they were drinking yeah but they're not drinking well, he said if a couple of days they were gone and should be back but he didn't say when yes yeah, they were, um, he told you that they were they were out of town camping, but they sh- they should be coming back um, any day now. 
And then we can always have a pint in the other pub tomorrow. We could try. Where's the motto juice and chili? Uh, while, you, while you're sitting there, sort of um, getting drunk, this uh, a little boy comes running up to me. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, are you are you here for the for the red brands? The red yes. brands. Yes, we've heard. Yes, Brun, are we here for the red brands? I thought we were here for the brothers and uh, something else. Oh, no, we were we just passing through, Did... aren't we? Really? My dad, my dad said you were you were going to come and stop these troubled ruffians. They've been causing nothing but trouble. Old carp down on the farm, he told me, he told me he found a tunnel. Boy, you should be in Ooh. bed. But I, I live here. What is the tunnel? My, my, my pa owns the tavern. I, I can't go to bed till you go. I clear up all the... All the, all the if, uh, I, he, he heard the voice, and then he kind of turns around and sees this, like, giant... Calm down, like, calm down. down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um... Maybe I just don't know. Don't, don't, don't worry, little boy. He is nothing but a te sweet teddy bear. He would not hurt a fly. I have seen it with my own eyes. This guy cannot even hurt a goblin. He lets them go at the first time they ask for yeah. something. He would never hurt you, my little boy. But I'm not fluffy. Uh, what was... What did he put it? They look at you. I mean, with some furs on, you could be a teddy bear. It's so easy. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> my little little boy... Oh, firstly, where is your parents and why are you in here? And secondly, um... I just, I just, I just said my parents are on the, on the tavern. My, my, my ah, parents are on the... You are, I see. Sorry, yeah. I didn't hear that, but I was hearing an orc in my ear and I missed that thing. Oh, so your parents are on the tavern. Okay. Very... Okay, then we, 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 we might be able to deal with... This is... What you... Well, you 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 know you're coming here splashing all that cash. Perhaps you're provoking the the, the red ones. They may they want to come down to take Perhaps. them out of town. Do they come to the tavern very often? Not this one. Not this one. The sleeping giants. They they they, they practically own it now. Oh, yeah. It's closer to the to the manor. You see, that's where they're hiding. Well, you said too much. I've said too. Much. Anyway, what, the red but, brands are hiding in really? the manor. Perhaps, boy, perhaps. Boy, boy, where's Miss Tunnel you mentioned? I, uh, I could where's tell you, entrance? but uh, uh, that, that, that sort of information costs. That costs money. Costs money. Costs money. Mm, so, uh, I, perhaps a shiny coin or two? Um, boy, I can oh, ask yes. Fallon to ask. I can uh, ask Fallon to ask you where the tunnel is. I am. Your choice. Polish a copper coin on whatever it is I'm wearing. <laughs> it's, like, it's, kind of, it's like scared and I'm looking at the same time. <laughs> and I hand him the copper coin. Polished. It's shiny. Wow. It's shiny. Wow. It's, what? it's really shiny. Oh, this is great. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any Where's the tunnel? Um, I don't know. Uh, carp. Carp knows. <laughs> carp. Cop, he, he, he told me he always got caught by the red brand. Like, they grabbed him by the scruff of the neck, but his, 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 his clothes ripped and he ran away. Um, he's, he's elderly, son. He's, he's down at the farm. All right. Perhaps he, if this was not the PG stream, I would have told you what you're doing if, if, here. If you, give, if you give him a copper quid, perhaps he will tell you. What's his name again? Carp. Carp. Like Carp is my friend, yes. Like, like the fish, but not, not so much. Before we Carp get into any Carp. fights, I think we should get a, uh, a good night's rest and uh, Me too. some food and mm. some, some proper food and not this bloody watered soup bottom stuff. Now you mentioned carp, I quite fancy a bit of fish. The fish kind of uh, the fish <laughs> the boy <laughs> the boy like realizes he's not going to get any more money from you kind of runs off um back behind the bar with a couple of empty tankards that he was sent that's when he was basically set out to to grab your tankards but he'd seen mm. seen you all come in and kind of really in awe of like this randomly odd group of people sitting around and all this money being thrown around it's like oh, oh what's what's going on and uh, so he kind of runs off 
uh, with, the, with the empty tankards, not the full ones, um, and back behind the bar. No, wouldn't have been allowed to pick up my drink. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, my friends, it is late. I am tired. My money is running low. I am going to bed. Good night. I need a bath, actually. Is there a bathhouse? Where is the lady again? Madame, the one with the large tables. <laughs> Madame, what? Excuse me? Tables. <laughs> the pretty, the pretty beautiful good lady. The beautiful lady oh, I came across. How are you, Madame? Better. better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, can go again. I may not be useful. I would, I would like. Think you'd like this, I would like a. Um, is there a place I'd like? I could do with a, a bath, or a, uh, is there a bathhouse nearby that is open that I could, perhaps, just have a shower or a bath? A shower, shower, shower. A bath. <laughs> 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 you wish I'd have a shower <laughs> so you can just stand up in the brush. <laughs> brush up. Uh, I'm sure one of the one of the horse <laughs> groomers would be more than happy to scrub you down. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they would. Uh, as for bathhouses, this is a uh, very small town. It's not no. really the sort of thing we have here, I'm afraid, my yeah. dear. Do you have a you have a bath here that I could uh, fill with what you know? Have we have. Uh, uh, that, that we can get you a jug of water and a basin, and you can wash yourself. It's fine. That's what most people do. Okay. We don't have a bath, no. Do you have? Um, may I? I have them. Unfortunately, um, I, it's a bit embarrassing, but uh, I. Uh, Accidentally dropped my clothes uh, in the river nearby, and uh, I could you, do with yeah. that. <clears throat> you, you mean you uh, went for a swim twice? <laughs> May have uh, with your clothes on? <laughs> Who does that? Uh, it, it, let's just say it was an accident and to be done. Very well, very well. Um, I could do so with you have wet clothes, clothes. Yes, I do have wet clothes, but I am um, am a man of modesty. As uh, mm-hmm. apart from them, when I come with, and I would like to, yes, I may. Is there a place where I may privately change and uh, dry my clothes? If you go to your room and uh, take your clothes off, uh, not with me, and it's of course, this is not an offer. Um, but if you leave your wet clothes outside of your room, I'd be sure to collect them later and we'll we'll take them to the drying room. It's fine. That would be fantastic, and uh, I, um, I will be sure to uh, give you a nice tip later. I'm not quite sure how to take that. Very well, very well. Cheeky, Cheeky grin. Good, okay, cool. uh, good night, my friends. I love good night. this. Good night. There's nothing. good night, my friends. And I will, because um, the time is going. My yeah. magic yeah. Yeah. where I will. Cheers, Baron. So, um, we'll say that. See you um, tomorrow um, over a piece of steak and eggs. <laughs> I think now is a good time to us all to get some sleep. So um, you all finish up your drinks. Um, the as you as you kind of stand up to go to your room, the rest of the pub sort of raises its hand. Thank you, cheers, cheers, thank you, what? Thank you very much, thank you. Well, we're going to continue. If you've still got gold, thank you, brother. Thank you. Goodbye. There is a Bye. little bit left, my friends. Enjoy and have a good evening. It was a lovely meeting. What is what is your name, sir? What is your name? My name is the Baron. The the a hey, baron, the baron. Good night, my friend. Very well, very well. Thank Would you say we've all had enough to eat? Yes, you've all had your fill. You're all those that kept drinking and a little bit tipsy. Yeah, uh, Brune, did you want to say something? Oh no no no! I'm staying in Devon, getting slaughtered and sleeping. Oh, you're going to get slaughtered. Okay, that's no problem. Um, I'm and sleeping so, on top of the I think Thalion said he was staying down there as well. So yeah. Me, I'm gonna go and get my head down. Okay, so um, the rest of you, it's been a big day. Um, saunter us back to your rooms, um, and rest for the night. And I think that is where we shall leave it for tonight. Woo-hoo. That was fun. It was very fun. It was really hard doing an accent for the first time. <laughs> what oh, many well. <laughs> I, I think it's the first <laughs> evening that I have not rolled. Don't have fun hard. I don't really know how much money no, I have to I did roll. Yeah. Right, so, yeah, I mean... I can know how much I've got now. Like, I've got the extra 10 gold, but I don't know what I had to start with, to be honest, because I just... I keep track of everything in D&D Beyond. 
So my health points mm. and change in DM yeah. D beyond. That's what I'm saying. So this is why we need to gold. use D yeah. beyond mod. But so we'll, we'll have a so we'll, reset that. we'll so have a chat okay. and talk about it afterwards, and we'll, we'll set it up. Yeah. Oh, it was still let's so let's we do are the Rona. So um, thanks everybody for joining us. Um, very much appreciate all the support and everything. Um, if you if you haven't. If you haven't given us a follow, please consider doing so. As I said, we are still learning this, so we're doing our best to try and learn as we go. Um, but we are having fun, and hopefully uh, you're finding it entertaining. If you wish to join in with any of our conversations or um, mm. just tell us whether you like it or you hate it, um, exclamation mark Discord in chat. We'll give you a link yeah, to our yeah. Discord. Um, so feel free to come and join our community and um, yeah. let us know. Let us know what you think. And just join any discussions, any advice, anything. We are open to any of that sort of stuff so yes um, <coughs> please do come in and say hello otherwise yeah, thank you all for your follows um it's been really good i uh, very much appreciate mm -hmm. it we um uh, so next friday is questionable whether we'll actually be on uh because we will be having quite a few people absent i think um so, 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 so cool. we we may I don't think we'll probably do this scenario, but we may look at if there's enough people or some people interested, we may well do um, someone's backstory or something like that and see if I can organize that. But otherwise, cool. um, yeah, we're going to be off for a little while um, until we can sort that out. And then I think we're away after it as well. So um, we'll see. Well, I'll, I'll try and do something next week because um, otherwise okay. it's going to be quite a few weeks before we come yeah. back so but anyway we'll keep you updated um look out for well, us friend. on twitter if you're not following us on twitter as well if you do exclamation mark asylum it'll give you all the links to yeah to come yeah. and give us a follow <laughs> um and we'll update on this we'll update on twitter and we'll put it out on on discord as well what what the plans are because we're not 100 percent sure ourselves um but otherwise yes thank you all for the support um really appreciate it um we're gonna go in fact i'll tell you what there's a few of us i don't know if it's if, do, do people host other people um when they do D &D? I know we do for star citizen but, um, um, but not make it the first. Make it the first. Make it the first. I think we got hosted by somebody once before, didn't we? From D &D. we did get hosted by somebody. Yeah, so um, let's let's do this. This, but um, yeah, Miz, like, yeah, I mean, definitely come and join us, guys. If you people are doing D and D, we want to definitely grow the community and stuff. And you never know if you're a D and D person and you got a webcam and we like you, we go with you, and you want to come on and do a guest appearance or something. That's a possibility in the future. Who knows? So don't be shy. You know, we have technology. It's magical technology. <laughs> and people yeah, disappear well, as well. Uh, like we get people leaving, and we're always maybe sometimes you know people real life comes up. We might need people to make guest appearance and stuff. So I know people because I know it's a hard community, right? Like there's a lot of people who want to find groups but can't because they can't get out or they can't get people near them and things like that. So you never know. Come and join us and come and say hi. Get to know us all. Yeah. Come and join um, the asylum. Come on, join us. Join us and learn how to do accents <laughs> like you do. This is my only one. This is my first. Learn to travel around the world fancy. in accents in 40 days. But can you sound <laughs> sad? Dracula. It's gone all too Dracula. It's saying you sound okay, sad. There's some other people that yes, say You have to also. watch the Gary Oldman, um, Keanu Reeves Dracula movie. Because <laughs> you you're working with veterans, Sylvania. <laughs> yeah, um, it, was, um, it wasn't great, but it's all good fun. No, it's yeah, cool. So. I'm it's just cool. relying on my so if you want to put South African to accent the, the that nobody knows. Send us. I don't know who to raid. Um, anyone got anybody? Uh, let's have a look. Dungeons and Dragons. We have. I like the um, game. I don't know what the lasers is all about, but we can... we've got sarcastic. Oh, well, one that's doing their fourth session. We could go and do them. Fifth edition. Two. Fifth edition. Oh. Uh, isn't it? Sar is it sarcastic? Owl okay, guide? clockwork and constructs. Yeah, can do. Yeah, we'll they got like those. a similar setup. We got like three okay. people, two people. Fifth edition. Okay. We'll do that. Why not? So I don't know what they're like, guys, but this is what we do in Star Citizen. So it's just send some people over. You can let us know if they're any good or not, but um, you don't have to go and watch them. But otherwise, um, there's a raid. Uh, go and say hello. Go and say whatever. We're following them. Uh, give us, give them a warm welcome. And uh, mm -hmm. as always, um, thank you very much. Uh, roll on Friday is our slogan. Yeah, so, baby. Yeah, roll on Friday. Roll on Friday, guys. And now we just got.